Tom Show. Back home. Hi, above Bobo's Lounge. What? <laughs> Christy Lee in the news today. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Josh Arnold over there. Hi there. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Willie Griswold on assignment. I'm Chick McGee, and here's the one and the only. Already got a lot of wandering around today, looking like he's lost. It's a pretty, pretty good day for Tom Griswold. Here he is. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. A lot of, uh, what the heck is this? And uh, uh, who are you? I took the doggies for a walk. And um, my uh, ace got me this clip-on light for my cap, but I can't find it, so I had to get another one because <laughs> I, I you find yourself in the you darkness out there with the dogs. you, you got to pick up their poop, it. and you're sitting there holding your iPhone hovering over these turds thinking, if I slip and this phone drops in those... <laughs> uh, oh, no, thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. We had a great time yesterday, Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes, sir. Uh, celebrating the opening day of the baseball season. Sadly, the Reds... Did not, uh, did not I took it on yesterday. the chin 5-4 to the Buckos. Big crowd. No beer this year. Uh, the Reds, right. They lost the opener. But hey, the... Um, <laughs> Is that how that works? <laughs> I love that game. Yeah. Um, I'm sad they lost, but... Josh Arnold, of course. Uh, Arnold? Is that your last name? It is. Okay. Uh, lifelong St. Louis Cardinal fan. Yeah. Uh, they lose yesterday, but Adam Wainwright went viral. Uh, the pitcher... Uh, That's he, right. He uh, sang the national anthem in a country style and uh, killed it. I, I hope to have it uh, up <laughs> pretty cool. Later. It uh, it was really and he's got a nice um, Americana uh, acoustic uh, cool. voice there. Yeah, oh, that's good. Really, I, I think I think I, I've you always, will enjoy. It. I've always loved the fact that um, the national anthem is uh, treated with respect from different uh, different perspectives of music. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it all started with Jose Feliciano. Oh God! Um, well, I it did. I love it when you go out on a limb and make this proclamation about something that didn't happen at all. Yes, it did. <laughs> yeah, no. You, the, Google you, Jose Feliciano and, and national you think anthem. It's some sort of Latino, Latina uh, influence and being in America, and it was the first time that it oh. ever happened. I, it had been, it had gotten kind of stale. He just, he just sang it, and it was fine, and it was great. It wasn't this watershed moment that you're making it out to be. I disagree. Well, mm. it, yeah, that you can. When was this? Yeah. Oh, it was in the '60s. Well, yeah, oh. jo Josh knows about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know who's, that, that's uh, how a big a watershed moment uh, it was. Jose Feliciano uh, became famous prior to Feliz Navidad. Yeah, sure. With, with his, his uh, great version of Light My Fire. Right, yeah. Uh, really cool. I was not aware of, of the uh, national anthem, though. Yeah. I'm he, sure he did a fine job. Yeah, but... Uh, exactly. But it, that's the story. He did a fine job. It's very controversial. Hmm. <laughs> I was here. It was not controversial. Maybe among your family it was? Yeah. Uh, well, I say, did you hear the national anthem? <laughs> did you hear how it went? Um, My, why is that gardener singing? <laughs> My goodness. It was amazingly different. Oh, not God. my cup of tea. Oh, certainly not. Certainly, certainly not. not. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go. <laughs> I just made $12,000 talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Here's the headline for you, Josh. <laughs> the 1968 National Anthem performance that changed Jose Feliciano's life. Okay, oh, okay, that's, okay. There you go. Sure. I will give you that. Yes. It yeah, doesn't yeah. say <laughs> America. <laughs> it says Jose Feliciano's life. Here's the headline. <laughs> Jason, <laughs> life. Even the internet, which will verify any crackpot theory you can find, can't L let's, uh, verify uh, yours. Josh, I'll give you a second. No, play Adam Wainwright. For, all right. Do you have it? No, I don't have it. Well, how can I play Adam Wainwright if I don't you have it? You know what? It? Now that you ask me, uh, I don't. No. <laughs> this is the great Jose Feliciano doing it. Here we go. You want to guess who recorded this? Oh, That's right. Edison. Oh, so can you hear? Yeah, but you can see he's uh, from a music. Pat, I'll talk to you. You're a musician. I, you can see he's he's got a rhythmic thing going. Uh, he's yeah, changed yeah. the melody a little definitely bit. definitely different. Uh, yeah, he's got a... A classical guitar. Oh, underneath. God. Yeah, it sounds nice. It's cool. Yeah, it's great. It's neat. Uh, it's here well. we go. Um, here's another headline. A different national anthem before the nation was ready for it. 
<laughs> Our national nightmare. Uh, the article says the, na- the NFL the continues to wrangle that. with its issues of players taking a knee during the national anthem, but this isn't the first time the Star Spangled Banner has collided with politics, race, and a major sporting event. Okay. Says that editorial. You know what? I don't know what I was thinking. You're right. American history is marked by by two things: how time how time was before the yep. Jose Feliciano <laughs> national anthem, and what happened after. Oh, You're exactly God. right. I'm sorry. Now, was this 1964 JF or uh, 1960? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jose Feliciano? Uh, or- here we go. AJ, it's, here we go. Uh, back then, the anthem was generally performed by popular musicians of stage and screen. He's still always in a very straightforward and, way. And I've given up, and I've agreed with him. Feliciano's Latin jazz <laughs> version puzzled some people and outraged others. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, my point was, we've reached a point now in which uh, you can have someone, as the aforementioned. Uh, 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 would you say, how did you refer Adam to Wainwright? Uh, Americana version, is that how you refer to it? Uh, yeah, that Adam that's Wainwright acoustic, is, is uh, now Mary. acceptable. People are a little more open. Because of Jose Feliciano. That would be a, that would be my argument, yes. Okay. Any argument of any well-informed person okay. of intelligence. <clears throat> oh, sorry. So not only do you have to make that argument, but you have to call me stupid. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no. I'm not an, I'm not informed. Okay. That's fine. Uh, yeah, ignorance is different than stupidity. Certainly. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Presence no. is, is different than absence. Uh, uh, Josh <laughs> was ignorant of the famous Jose Feliciano version. But uh, how could that be? He's an American. He's alive. How could you not know about the Jose? You know about George Washington, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, apparently, history in school these days they didn't teach that. Lacking. Uh, I bet anyway. they don't teach that. Well, they should. <laughs> I'd never heard of it until just now, and I was alive in '68. <laughs> well, they... well, well, well. Did... Another county heard from. What's Did your he... response there, bud? Didn't uh, he sing Jose? Can you see? Wasn't that like the first? Oh, that song? would be problematic. Yeah, no, that's yeah. the, that's why he that's got himself the joke. In that's the uh, classic old joke because yes. Mr. Feliciano is blind. Right. If you're going to go down that route. No, no, no I remember people doing that. No, I, Joe, didn't, I didn't know I he was blind. That. Joe can name only. Here's Adam Wainwright from yesterday's Cardinals game, which they lost, by the way. Dang on it. Yeah. What are you going to do? Uh, here's Adam Wainwright, the pitcher. He didn't pitch yesterday, but he sang the national anthem. Oh, say can you? Yeah, he's early light. What so proudly we hail. Pretty nice. Yeah. At the twilight. The crowd goes crazy at the end. <laughs> I don't know. There you go. There's a, a heckled. There must have been a Cubs fan in the crowd there, right? Out of boy, Roy! <laughs> he was yelling, Wayno. That's Wayno! 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 Did you do that or was that in there real? No, that was in there real. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's in there real. A little shaky at first. Yeah. Oh, he's in the ballpark, you jackass. It's hard to say. You know what it's like with that reverb. No, I think it's great. Delay. What's well, a little nervous at first. Okay, here's the Bob and Tom All Star coming up. At the twilight's last gleam. Cardinals fan is as classy as I. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. But, I mean, the notion is that it's a, it's an important song to sing. And, and it's hard to Everybody sing. can sing it, so good for him. And the pressure, because it's almost a thankless job. Yeah, yeah. As much as everybody appreciates and loves it, it's not. And, and the trick pad is to start low. Yeah, I did it once. It's hard. The lyrics are weird. You got to go. But if you start where you yeah, normally no, no, want to yeah, start, it goes crazy. The rocket's right? red yeah. glare thing's going to get you. Yeah, I, yeah. I think we're losing sight of the fact that it's a bad song. But uh, that's it is. Right. It's not to, oh, I don't know about American that. Beautiful is much better. You yeah, never call it a bad song. Yeah, it, but I mean, it, it, song. it's the song, and that's what it stands for. So that's how we why we sing it. Here's Pat Godwin singing the Star Spangled Banner. Okay. Who's Uh, Phillies Cubs game when Mike Schmidt was retiring. retiring. That's amazing. That is yeah. amazing. Do you have a guitar? No. Gaelic. That's where I messed it up. Oh, you messed it up. Yeah, yeah, they're Gaelically up. reaming. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's reaming. <laughs> you got it. I'll never get past that mistake, though. I couldn't get past it. <laughs> 
That's why I'm saying it better. still a little upset about it. Oh, my God. That was mortified. Back to Godwin. give anything for this to be absolutely quiet when he ends at the stadium. <laughs> it might have been. <laughs> Just a... Today's game will be delayed due to that <laughs> nearly treasonous version Good of. Lord. He did a nice job. He did a very nice job. I did stumble, boy. Uh, uh, hey, speaking of being uh, on stage tonight, Pat Godwin at the Dow Event Center, Saginaw, Michigan, with Josh Arnold and Kostaki Economopolis. What a show! It's going to be great. And if you were listening to uh, the uh, previous version of the National Anthem in your Raycon earbuds, they sure would sound good. Raycon, they're uh, twice as good and cost half as much. Tell me more, Chick. Try What does he say? <laughs> Raycon. Raycon, twice the effort and twice as quick. Uh, oh, he says uh, the weasel. twice as good, half the price. Mm -hmm. Twice as good and half the price. Raycon premium audio at the perfect price point. You know this. You can build great habits without breaking the bank, whether you're looking for a pair of everyday earbuds. Maybe you're a gamer with low-latency gaming headphones or a speaker with a battery that lasts all night long at your next party. Raycon's got you covered. Raycon start at half the price of other premium audio brands and twice as good. Even if you know you'll love your Raycons, though, as much as we do, Raycons has a super easy-peasy free return guarantee and three customizable sound profiles, earbud tap functions, noise isolation, and the awareness mode. And if you're ready to buy something small with a big impact on your life, go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today and get 15% off your Raycon order. Buy a pair for you and someone you like. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom, 15% off your Raycon purchase. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Coming up in sports, the pitch clock is everywhere. We'll have uh, the first pitch clock uh, today, yesterday during opening day and a pitch clock sparked a rally. And uh, all sorts of stuff coming up in uh, Sports Plus. Uh, thankfully, I'm alive to say this. It's finally happened. That's right. Major League Ping Pong is coming to a city near you. Oh. Or wow. maybe it's already here. I'm not sure. I okay. Haven't. We wow. got some world records um, and uh, other delights coming up today. I'm very excited about the show. Um, and we'll give you more information about who's on the road this weekend for some great live stuff. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom 24-7. Not on air, online, all the time. Bob and Tom. Oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. Oh. oh, hey, Josh. What's wrong? My back is sore. My legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah. Uh. Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... Oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See you a... later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. in Canada, prompting real emergency responses to his fake reports of bombs, shootings, other threats. 
Ashton Connor Garcia, 20 years old of Bremerton, is accused of using voiceover Internet technology to conceal his identity as he placed the calls last year. Federal prosecutors say he treated them as entertainment, broadcasting them on the social media platform Discord. He faces felony counts that could bring up to a decade in prison. Court records did not immediately indicate if Garcia had an attorney who might speak on his behalf. And that's a look at things you may have missed. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Things you hear on the Bob and Tom Show. Looking to buy a new car, but the looking part is getting old hat? Well, maybe you need to try shopping at Bob Bile Motors. Bob Bile Motors. Hi. Just stop into Bob Bile Motors and I'll show you my... <laughs> take a test drive and I'll also let you see my... That's Bob Bile Motors. And hey, guys, during Bob Bile's celebration bonanza days, if you buy a car from Bob Bile Motors, oh, no. I'll not only show you my and my I'll let you in the and after that, I'll your in the Is that even possible? It is at Bob Bile Motors. Bob Bile Motors. Why the hell shop anywhere else? Oh. Somebody get me a towel. Due to pending litigation, Bob Bile Motors is suspending free hot dog Fridays. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. My boyfriend sometimes wants to have sex multiple times a day. The later times sometimes take forever, and I feel like a workhorse. What should I do? Just oh. shut up and take it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I may be tag team. I don't know. Yeah, tag tag tap tap out. Uh, yeah, is it all right if I call my sister? Yeah. 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 Bring, a, bring a friend. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Thanks for listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. She's the love of your life, and you want to make her feel special on Valentine's Day. Gentlemen, if you're looking for a romantic gift this Valentine's Day, then Frigamall Flores has the gift for you. It's our... I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I send you some flowers. Okay. <laughs> yes. For just $59.95, you can send her the... I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I send you some flowers bouquet. The I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I send you some flowers bouquet proclaims your lust for her in the most romantic way possible. The bouquet of lovely fresh flowers says, let's do it, and my loins ache. Your wedding vows didn't include a vow of chastity, but you're not going to see any action unless you act now. So pick up the phone and order the I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I send you some flowers bouquet. Right now. That's the I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I order you some flowers bouquet. With one phone call, you can cover your ass and get some ass. It's a win-win. Call now. Because when Cupid shoots his arrow on February 14th, you won't be shooting anything unless you get her some flowers. Bob and Tom. Five. Four. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> they put the F in profile. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Chrissy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Well, I'll be. I saw a guy in Cincinnati look just like you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I saw a guy that looks just like you. Son of a gun. There's Ace Cosby. I saw a guy that looks like you in really? Cincinnati. Yeah. Yeah, you... Uh, Handsome. Yeah, but you left the... He's hanging out at the bathroom bus station. What was going on? As I said yesterday morning, that Hard Rock Casino in Cincinnati has great uh, music. That music there. I could have sat yeah. in that... You're uh, right. I yeah. could have sat another couple hours in that bathroom and listened to music. Yeah, we be jamming. Yeah. Okay, that kind of ruins it for We'd me. We'd be Jamon. No, no reggae. That's what made it great. Oh. I'm Chick McGee. <laughs> and rock. here's, and hard here's rock. Tom. That hard rock casino. I heard a new U2 nice. song I like, and I, yeah, I had no really. idea. And yeah, and they were playing the the, 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 the chili peppers. Or... Well, a special thanks to everybody who showed up. Mm -hmm. 6 a.m. Yeah. Eastern time on a Thursday, and it's a packed house. And a few people who didn't show up, you can kiss my ass. Thank you again, Fox. <laughs> Thank you again uh, to the beautiful Hard Rock Casino. God, 
is that place nice? Heck of a staff, uh, working some, hard. They've got some, yeah, they got some cool stuff there too. Uh, now I'm down twenty seven thousand dollars. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> going to be I'm that's sorry. going to be a problem. I think I owe a lot of you money. <laughs> so just can't think that my audio. So it's fine. Apology. You got seven days. Okay. <laughs> now uh, I wanted to mention real quick that uh, there's going to be some road work this weekend. Tonight is uh, of course the huge show, the Dow Event Center, Saginaw, Michigan. Josh Arnold, Kostaki Economopolis, Mr. Pat God went on stage, the man, the guitar. It's going to be a great, great show. Uh, and then you guys are splitting it up. Saturday, Pat's going to be at Mason City Limits in Mason City, Illinois, celebrating their 15th anniversary. Josh, in the meantime, the road warrior, Josh, is driving all the way to Dubuque from Saginaw. He'll be at the Diamond Joe Casino in Dubuque Saturday night. So we'll have a very uh, sleepy Josh and Pat on Monday morning. No, we'll be oh, just no. fine. No, no, hate when you, well, you know what? It doesn't even, we, we may as well not even come in Monday, Pat. <laughs> oh, good. Because no matter how good we are, well, they were useless. Oh, like, oh, God would have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Josh just stared at me. <laughs> yeah. no. I, I was trying to make a nice compliment about how hardworking you guys are. Yes, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay, sorry. You, do you um, want to... Help no. me, Christy. Ask him, ask him if he wants to try to be better. Do you want to be better? <laughs> Do you want to? I'm really sleepy. Let's move forward here. Uh, we have um, uh, some songs due from Mr. Godwin because, as you know, Ace, oh my God, we're concluding right. Ace's Nothing Ace But it. Pizza Month of March. Song, not songs. That's right, America. <laughs> and tomorrow... <laughs> Um, you'll be back to eating your normal diet. Oh, do you know what you're going to eat first that's not a pizza? I planned on the, the KFC Double Down, but they open later than I want, so I'm thinking <laughs> about getting some Chinese food this evening, and then about <laughs> 2 o'clock when I get back up. <laughs> what? 2 o'clock in the morning? I, you know what? You know what? You know what's the most troubling about it's this weird. whole situation? I don't want to know anything about Ace's private life. Okay, I well, go to bed at ten on Friday. I and, don't. Uh, you're doing it. Get up I, around two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but America, we've made it. Today's the last day. My fellow Americans, our long national nightmare is over. That's right. Thank you, thank you, President Ford. We made it. It's all uh, over. Okay, very good. Well, we are owed one more pizza song. Mm -hmm. now, yesterday, if you happen to hear. The show and and I'll have what we learned yesterday. We ran out of time. It was such a jam packed show. Oh, that's God. right. Um, so. The uh, yesterday's pizza song was absolutely stellar. A little surprise there with the horns. Huh? Oh, we had a full horn section. Oh my God, Duke so and good. the boys were. It was amazing. It was just a great, great song. Uh, do you have one prepared for today? Is the last song, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, now, do you remember that. yesterday morning, one of the first things you said uh, in Cincinnati? I Rock don't, scene? actually. You got scared by the Alexa. Well, that's true. In the middle of the night. That's You were very, very scared. True. It was talking, and you didn't know who it was or where they were or, or what was on their mind. <laughs> no, because I, I, I was I'm still not staying in my own home, and where I am staying, I am by myself with the dogs right now. And, um, yeah, in the middle of the night, I heard this voice. It scared the hell out of me. <laughs> but you've been in the house for a few months. Well, here's what I f figured out what happened. Because when I finally got up to see what was going on, the voice was saying something like, please reconnect your Wi-Fi, blah, yeah. blah, blah. It was it was that Alexa thing, which I don't have in my own home. I don't like those things. They're they're listening to you. <laughs> they're they're spying on you. Dude, sending all the China. To you. It's over. And okay. uh, Wormer dropped the bomb. Yeah, so it, I, apparently over. if you lose your internet connection, I guess Alexa automatically starts doing that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I was not aware of that at the time. I so But then, then when I got home from Cincinnati, I was able to figure out where the thing was and got the internet back, and now Alexa shut up. Wait a minute. I thought you were going to unplug her. Hold it. You actually rebooted your modem or whatever you have to do, and you restored your internet where you're living. I had to look around and find the modem, yeah. All by yourself. Yeah, there was just a little button on it. I pushed it, and the blue lights came on, and then we're back in business. <laughs> okay. That was that it. That was, was a happy accident. <laughs> Finding it you're was a the happy accident. Idiot, you know? I didn't know where to look, uh, but I found it eventually, and now we're back in business. No, I was terrified by that. I Wouldn't can imagine they have a... Uh, uh, 12th century uh, French Victorian uh, internet. Uh, <laughs> Hidden behind giant, fake books giant, and you can't find yeah, it. Yes, a giant dresser. Some secret room. Yes. Yeah. In someone else's house that's full of their stuff. Yeah. Yes. A lot of and it's, uh, they're, I'm very grateful to be staying there. But they have a lot of stuff. They have a lot of stuff. A cheese burrow. <laughs> yeah, a four, <laughs> four drawer. <laughs> uh, the third drawer is the internet. The second drawer is my underwear. Uh, yes. I, and I, I, we had a, people verify that's happened to them. No, it was scary. I didn't. I'd forgotten that that thing was in the house. Mm. Fair so, enough. 
uh, yeah, I don't like those things. It's like a robot. Then we mine we, doesn't say anything. I it just it. flashes like a red or orange light or something. It's just mine, you know, will, mine will go off. Mine will go off as something said on the TV that it doesn't like. Oh, really? It'll it'll. I can't quite make that out. Oh, that happens a lot. Yeah. Well, yeah, but if you're not expecting it and you're alone in a house, you think and, someone's broken in. Yeah, yeah. and you're you. Naturally, you'd make that leap to someone's broken in. Somebody broke in to use your internet, and the internet's not working, so they said the internet. <laughs> Do you think when he heard it, he sat up in bed with his nightcap on? <laughs> be gone, spirit! <laughs> Who goes there? Be good! Christy, it was in the other room. I couldn't hear. All I heard was a voice. Uh, I didn't hear I, whatever it said. Yeah, your internet. You know what? No, no. We're not making these uh, speculations up. It's something that you would do. <laughs> You're lost. No, I heard a voice in the other room. I didn't know That's what it was. Throw you. Yeah. yeah. It was scary. I would I would imagine nine out of ten people, if they hear a voice in their house, naturally assume now if they're if they're alone that it's something to do with the internet. I bet you. I forgot that they had this stupid thing in there. I don't like them. I don't have it. I don't use it. It's just there. Kids' toys will go off every now and again randomly. Yep. And they, can, they can scare the hell out of you, too. And this was a good thing in a horror movie. Have a great day. <laughs> Joke good God. Yeah. <laughs> no, but then, when, then in, the, in the horror movie, it's always... Have a great day, Josh. Yeah. Uh, you what? I'm wet. I wouldn't start your car today, Josh. Well, what have you been doing? Um, yeah, so we also experimented with AI yesterday. And uh, I had AI write some yeah. baseball jokes. They were not particularly good. Oh, that took a big crap all over the desk. And no, I was trying. I was trying to make a point. I, again, yeah, you, uh, you made a point. I right. hate to look down here, but uh, yes, I was trying to make a point that AI can't do everything yet. Well, no, and it won't ever be able to. I know, but everyone's pretty cool. Th th they're all getting okay. all up in arms that AI is going to replace everyone's jobs, and there'll be AI DJs on in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably... Well, there are so many things. What am I saying? What am I saying? Quite good at that. Let's just shut up. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> talk about anybody's bottom line. It's <laughs> <laughs> good for the business. And, <laughs> yeah. and by the way, on my side, once again, there are those arguing that AI should have periods. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be AI because it always looks like Al. <laughs> he's, 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 he's talking like he has this unbelievable clear point. They should put eyes. Well, it's not an acronym. And periods. Like NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Well, he's, he's you don't need periods for that because it's it's go. a question of a style or, in, in the case of most people, Inti a lack of. Uh, let's uh, move forward here with a Chick McGee at the orangeinsouls.com sports desk. And I'll remind you, today's the day, bobandtom.com slash contest. You could win that beautiful Bob and Tom logo go to home dual pop a shot game for your living room who wouldn't want that and the incredible 45 tundra yeti king crab orange cooler that's like the rolls royce of coolers and uh, highly sought after in that color by the way i noticed that they're going on ebay for like three times retail cool you could win that baby bob and tom.com slash contest now we return to chick mcgee at the uh, sports desk yes uh also haywood banks yesterday had a song about you should never pick anybody up by their head Hilarious. yeah it was, it was great good. Uh, and uh, my favorite moment of the uh, day yesterday at broadcasting in Cincinnati for opening day was when uh, Haywood did his uh, summer song and uh, Tom felt the need to oh. Oh, that was highlight the fact that there was a baseball reference coming. Yeah. Yeah. No, I said that actual because performance he, I, of the song. he was trying to retune his guitar while singing, so I was trying to fill in for him. His guitar was way out of tune. Am I right, Pat? Yeah, but... And he was, tr he was trying to vamp that's his and thing, tune man. at the same time, and yeah. I was trying to thing. let him focus on that for a moment. And um, Haywood's new song was great. And by the way, Haywood... Oh, boy, i got to remember. Was it... Is it tonight or Saturday? He's at the Howell Opera House in Howell, Michigan. I think tonight. I'll double-check the date on that. I don't think I have it here. Anyway, Major League Baseball opened yesterday, and we from uh, Adam Wainwright of the Cardinals singing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see? Uh, he, and he was so excited and smiling. It was a really yeah. Uh, great. The Cardinals and their fans and that uh, whole scene there in St. Louis, they've got a really cool thing. Proud, very proud. Uh, and uh, yesterday the pitch clock debuted, and yep, uh, as these th nowhere in sports is uh, the trivia and the uh, stats and the numbers uh, more important than a Major League Baseball. So this is added. Here we go. Cubs right-hander Marcus Stroman committed Major League Baseball's first pitch clock violation. The third inning of yesterday's uh, opening day game against the Brewers with no outs. 
rookie Bryce Turang on second base and Kristen Yelich at the plate. He's good. Plate umpire Ron Culpa called the violation on Stroman at Wrigley Field. Culpa pointed to his wrist and announcing the call. That's the sign, Tom. That you're, oh. you lo- you're out of time. You ah, point, point to your wrist. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good sign. your watches, yeah. right? Get that's it? like uh, for oral pleasure when you're signing. It's the same. You're, you're... <laughs> no, it's just a common sign. It, it's, yeah, everybody knows that. what that means. Yeah, everybody sure. knows what this means when you cup your hand and then move it towards your mouth. Sometimes you press your tongue inside. Oh, the, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's an elaborate. That's more elaborate. That'd be funny if that were the sign. If, yeah, oh, if the yeah. umpire had to do the tongue thing and the <laughs> broomstick broomstick around the fist thing. Thank God I wasn't watching. No. Yeah. Instead of just pointing at his watch. <laughs> What's that other guy's name? Ron Kerrang. Kerrang. Yep. K U T U R A N G. Two Rang. Two Rang. Two Rang. Two Rang. Two Rang. He's so fine. Two Rang. Two Rang. Two Rang. Okay, I'm out of time. I'm sorry. I want to correct real quick. Haywood Banks, Saturday night, April 1st. Uh, Haywood will be there Saturday at the Howell Opera House in Howell, Michigan for a great live show. And this happened yesterday during opening day. Oh, by the way, J.P. Crawford's walk, helped by a pitch clock violation on James Karnjack, sparked an eighth-inning rally that was capped by Ty Francis' three-run homer, and the Mariners beat your Guardians, Tom, 3 nothing in Seattle. So there you go. Okay. And, yes, uh, Aaron Judge, Tom. Here come to judge. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he really yeah. laid, it, laid some on there, didn't he? Some flavor. Put some uh, stank on yeah. that. Yeah. Right. Very nice. Here come to judge. That's how the okay. song goes. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Sure. Don't blame me. I am. I believe on the record, I can shut my eyes and see the title. It says, Here Comes the Judge, <laughs> is the title of the song. Well, um, let's, let's, let's give it a little bit of a listen then, if you don't. Anyway, you know. he hit a home run. Here comes the judge. Here comes the judge. That's Sammy, right? Sammy Davis Jr. Here come to Rap. Is that pig meat singing? Yeah. Do you know? Okay. Pig meat, Markham. I thought. Uh, I, I, I mean, swear he uh, did it on Laugh In first, I think. It wasn't Sammy at first. I'm not. Oh, I think you're correct. Yeah. Well, it I, pains I, me to say that, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ace. Thank you. Uh, Thank for you, understanding Tom. that that was delivered I with know, a little I bit of humor <laughs> intended it to be. Aaron Judge, opening day, uh, he started the same way he marked many nights last season. A home run in his first game, New York Yankees captain. They're calling him Captain Marvel. How do you feel about that? Captain Marvel? That's his new uh, nickname, Captain Marvel. Yeah. Huh. Pass, right? Yeah, I think I so. prefer the Judge. <laughs> <laughs> That is better. Here come the judge is like an iconic <sighs> phrase in American culture. Captain Marvel is just the... Uh, uh, Captain so, Marvel is absolutely bigger than here come the absolutely. judge. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Especially yes. Especially yeah. with that yes. age group. Yes. <laughs> right, it's it's, right. it's, it's bigger and far less interesting. Let's uh, let's be honest here. What Brie you? Larson. Oh, fine boy. actress. She's very good. Yes. That's great. Let's I make more, let's make more some, superhero uh, movies. We're full of ideas in Hollywood. Nissan There's stock, some real good ones. What about a movie? A superhero movie called "Here Come Here Comes the Judge" and it's uh, he's dressed like a judge. It flies around. He's got a he's got a like Thor. He yeah. has a gavel. Yes. Wham. Yeah. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Gavel of the gods. That would be his superpower. <laughs> yeah. He just yeah. judges things. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, that, wait a minute. Right. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not Judge Dread. Judge. Here comes Boy, that That's a miss movie, huh? Judge hey, Dredd. Good. Any? How I did I know the, the captain of crap entertainment would like <laughs> Captain Judge Crap? Dredd. That's another superhero movie. I'd <laughs> captain. Oh, crap. he's flying! Hang on, Get I your can... windshield wipers going. Tom, this is for you. Hang on, I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight is sweet potatoes. <laughs> captain Marvel and the Yankees blanked the uh, Giants yesterday at the stadium. There, they're five nothing. So, uh, more sports coming up, including Shohei. Otani, I said show. Hey, Otani. Hey, hey Otani. Otani. Thank you. He's we learned over there. Means. And as they've got to get him out of uh, uh, Anaheim, uh, he struck out ten, and the Angels lost. Thanks a lot, fellas. 
Vegas. Well, uh, one of us did what they were supposed to do yes. today. Can anyone guess? <laughs> Will he become a Los Angeles Dodger, do you think? Are they gonna... I don't know how they're going to pay him, but uh, probably because they've got some big contracts anyway. But I don't. I, if he goes to the Padres, I'm going to keel over. Because they, they will be over a billion dollars in payroll if he went to, Man. The, if he went to the uh, Padres. Wow. Yeah. It'll be the biggest contract ever. Nest pop. 600 mil. That's what they're saying. Okay. Uh, now. Um, uh, I and mentioned. the final fours, the ladies tonight, the uh, men tomorrow night. So here, wow! And, and the final four for the ladies, a much harder ticket to get than the men's. So there you go. Well, it's in a smaller venue. I'm just saying, Tom. <laughs> I think you'll find. I, I, that's the game I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch that tonight. Caitlin, yeah. Iowa, and uh, she's yeah, the South like Carolina, the great, most exciting player in American basketball. Uh, if your body's not aligned, I'm not even going to talk about your brain. Let's just work on your body right now. You might be a more, have more fatigue and injuries from your feet to your back. You need to get your foundation aligned with OrangeInsoles.com. They can reduce hip pain, foot pain, and lower back pain by providing a deep heel cup, maintaining proper weight distribution and body alignment. Most shoes don't come with the support of insole and companies that just put a thin layer of foam. That's... A joke. Orangeinsoles.com, easy to navigate website, so you can find the right pair of orange insoles for whatever activity or shoe. Dress shoes, cowboy boots, tennis shoes, work boots, got them all. And Orange Insoles has the we want you to be happy return guarantee. Orangeinsoles.com also has free shipping. And right now, when you sign up for text messages from Orange Insoles, you'll receive an additional savings code. Check out Orangeinsoles.com. Proper support in your shoes, and you'll start feeling better. That's orangeinsoles.com, sponsors of the Sports Desk, and proud supporters of the Bob and Tom Show. Coming up, a Jose Feliciano national anthem update. Super. Um, that almost cost legendary broadcaster Ernie Arwell his job. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 888-262-8661. More Bob and Tom next. State law. play a new song for y'all. See if you like it. See if you like it. All right. And be sure and Bob go, ha, 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 like you do. <laughs> okay, I can okay. do that. I was just getting ready to do that after I saw your picture. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty accurate. Yeah, Have you ever had one of those days when nothing goes right? Your wife starts bitching about whatever it was she was bitching about last night. <laughs> So you escape into the bathroom Just to sit there on your throne But after you finish your business The toilet paper's gone <laughs> Well, it's a great day For me to whoop somebody's ass It's a bad day So you better get off of my back You might get cold, cock <laughs> if you cross my path Cause it's a great day For me to whoop somebody's ass yeah. Of all the radio shows I've ever done I've never done one where they could sing a song They've never heard Isn't that amazing? I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing How do we know the words to a new song? <laughs> Y'all must be working for Dion Warwick and the Psychic Friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was running late for work, so I poured me some coffee to go. And just before I had a flat tire, I spilled it all over my clothes. When the highway patrolman pulled up, I thought that help was on the way. But when he saw that tire tool in my hand, he shot me with pepper spray laugh. Well, it's a great day for me to whoop somebody's ass. It's a bad day. So you better get off my back. You might get cold, cock. If you cross my path, cause it's a great day for me to whoop somebody's ass. All right. Mm -hmm. This last verse is for everybody that don't like their boss at work. Mm -hmm. When I finally made it to work, I was 15 minutes late. I told my boss about the flat tire, 
but he fired me anyway. So here I am in the parking lot, just waiting by his Corvette. I'm gonna give him a goodbye present that he never will forget. <laughs> Laugh and sing. It's, it's a great day for me to whoop somebody's ass. It's a bad day. <laughs> so you better get off my back. You might get cold cocked if you cross my path. Cause it's a great day. For me to whoop somebody's ass. Oh yeah. yeah Thank you. I like it. Paul Thorne. Just four days before Palm Sunday. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom show on the way. Hey, Shooter, it's Kenny Tarmac. Hey, we just landed. I'm an ORD, just got in from TPA through ATL. And hey, guess what else just landed? The Bob and Tom app. I know, I know. Now, thanks to the Bob and Tom app, even if I have to go all the way from Foxtrot 20 down to Alpha 4, I can still listen live, see their videos, find an affiliate station, use the alarm, and even send a message. This is Kenny Tarmac signing off and reminding you everything I touch turns to sold. Hi, man, this is Donnie Biker. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Time now for Flash Traffic with the fastest man in the world, nine-time Olympic gold medalist, Carl Lewis. And now we go to our uh, flash traffic reporter, Carl Lewis, with uh, traffic on the west side. Hey, Bob and Tom, I'm on the west side, and traffic looks great. Now I'm going to run over to the far east side and take a look at traffic conditions over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm on the east side now. Everything looks smooth over here. <laughs> Want me to check the north side? Uh, sure, sure, Carl. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh, guys, traffic is running off the fine up here up north. Anything else you need? Uh, listen, Carl, uh, <laughs> could you check south side traffic? I know it's a long way. You could uh, also pick up an iced tea for me, venti uh, green iced tea at Starbucks on your way, if you don't mind. Okay, okay, that's a little step, but I'll get there. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that was kind of a, a detour, but here, two splendors just like you like it. Uh, thank you very much, Carl. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, uh, Carl, could you come back to the studio to sign some photos for us? Oh, okay, I can do that. Sure thing, Tom. <laughs> <sighs> Made it. All right. Give me a pen. <laughs> this has been Flash Traffic with Carl Lewis. <laughs> Hello, this is comedian John Evans, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Jim, we mentioned that you are a tall man. 6'6", yes. six, 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 huh? six. Are you uh, a single guy or married guy? I just got married. Oh, congratulations. Yes. How's, uh, how's that going? First timer? Yeah, first timer. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, How about uh, that? I'm learning, you know, very slowly. I'm learning, you know, uh, like, you know, when uh, women get married, they take the guy's name, and I'm learning that us guys are also giving my, my married name is somebody. Somebody's got to take the trash out. <laughs> <laughs> At first I was like, is she talking to somebody else? Is there somebody else here? Uh, somebody. Should we be on a first name basis by now? <laughs> well, someone's going to have to go to the hardware store. <laughs> somebody's going to have to put this table together. Uh, morning uh, laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Just might be the best medicine. If you want to turn your daddy parts orange, eat some Cheetos and watch some porn. Bob and Tom, 24 <laughs> Field House. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hello, Chick. Hey, there's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. Hey, Pat. There's Josh Arnold. Hi. There's Ace Cosby. Hello. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much, Chick. Thanks again, everybody who showed up in Cincinnati at the Hard Rock Casino. Weren't they great? Great, great time yes. yesterday morning. And a terrific uh, pizza song from Pat. Thank you. As we continue the pizza tributes. To um, Ace Cosby eating nothing but pizza in the month of March. The big fat horn section, that was great. How's it been, Ace? You're great. Yeah, you've enjoyed it? 
I even told Christy I'll probably have some more pizza this weekend. Did you have some sort of a hypothesis regarding this? Like, will I hate it? Will I love it? I mean, what? How is this? All of the years, the subject comes up. If you can only eat one thing. And I always say pizza because there's so many varieties and so many things you can yeah. do to it. So this proved to you... It wasn't pepperoni and sausage every day, Chick. Yeah, this proved to you it can absolutely I be know. done. It's not pizza every day either, so... And you'll be yeah. happy and good. Okay. <laughs> okay. You really, uh, really killed well, I'm it. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Well done. Yeah. That means a lot to me. You lied and schemed and got out of another... Uh, <laughs> got out of nice another job, bit basically. here on the, uh, on the uh, Congratulations. On the good job, buddy. Uh, do we have our pizza song ready to go, Pat? Sure, one more. Okay, let's All go. Right. This, is the, this is the last... This is so, the last right. song. I was so, going to sing that in case, but I didn't want to in case that was the... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So this is the song. This is the last. <laughs> this is it. This is it. All right. The last one. Thirty-one days ago, <laughs> I can barely remember how writing music used to make me smile. <laughs> and I knew when I saw Tom's face, he dragged me into this thing with Ace. <laughs> And it would be pizza parody songs for a while. <laughs> All March long made me shiver with each cheesy tune I deliver. <laughs> pizza songs every day. Let's skip to the chorus. What do you say? Yeah. I buy Ace Cosby's pizza pies. I very nearly drank my liquor store dry. <laughs> Stayed sober and gave the song one more try, singing, This will be the last pizza pie. All right. Pat, John. Very nice. Very Walk nice. Walk off. Yes. Yeah, and I perfect. know that you and uh, Don McLean are great friends. Yeah. Oh, boy. And, yeah, uh, we had a run in. Uh, yeah. Pat, Pat, Pat. We had songs about pizza. We had songs about pizza songs. And uh, I, I don't think there was a misstep in those whole 30 days. Oh, you're being Ooh, I, I have That's received a letter good. asking asking to um, if we should have Josh eat nothing but peanut butter and jelly for the month of April. I saw that. And people are like, you know, you can have different jams and peanut butter <laughs> and bread. That's right. And, of course, yeah, bread, of course. And that was greeted with an affirmative <laughs> no. No, no, I'd like to keep both my feet. Uh, okay. <laughs> That'd be a good song. I, I like that. I'd like to keep both my feet. Now, this person didn't say every meal. They said just once a day you have to eat some peanut butter. Well, that's yeah. easy. Well, yeah, yeah so that. therefore it wasn't we all did that when we were little. Mm. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. We got a big controversy on our show to open it up this morning. Um, uh, referencing uh, the national anthem as performed by one of the St. Louis Cardinals. Adam Wainwright. Oh, say can you see? I'm laughing at the upcoming jackass. I, I cannot, I can't imagine being a Cardinals fan and having your, one of your pitchers singing the National Anthem. Especially Wayne, oh, they lost their mind. Of no, course. Must yeah. A lot. yeah, he he's Mr. Cardinal. Yeah. He, he, and, yeah. And, the, and my point is, it's I think it's great that we've been lo loosened up in our society that we can have different variations of the National Anthem, which all started with Jose Feliciano when you objected to that. You think that's an issue? You're happy that it's loosened up America so we can enjoy all types of the national anthem. It's famous. The the legendary broadcaster, Ernie Harwell, almost got fired because he's the one that brought Jose Feliciano to Tiger Stadium to sing the national anthem. It uh, caused oh, a huge so he, controversy. It wasn't a pro he didn't say something stupid. He No, it's just the fact that he did it um, in an unusual way. It, it, it's, it's, as a Major League Baseball's website puts it this way. Unlike others before him, Feliciano put his own twist on America's song, submitting a different voice and style onto a public that wasn't quite ready for it. Hmm. Gotcha. Um, they almost fired Ernie Harwell. <sighs> well, it says, Feliciano's taken the song, paved the way for others like Marvin Gaye and Jimi Hendrix. And who was Ernie Harwell? <laughs> I don't know. He's what the Mike, he Michael for? Jordan of baseball announcers. Uh, I don't know about that because I, I would know who he was. Let's not get who carried he away. For? Who did he work for? The Tigers. For? I, so think he was Vin, just the I think Vin Scully might be the Michael yeah, Jordan. I think he's he was forever. the local Tigers guy. Yes. So there's no reason anyone However, who didn't live in Detroit. <laughs> the Tigers are in. Michigan! Yeah, that's right. I, I want to thank, I, I thank David for taking the time and trouble. By the way, this is really cool. Um, Harwell, who nearly lost his job after Feliciano's performance, uh, had become quite ill later in life, and one of his dying wishes were, was for Feliciano to come and do the same performance for another Tigers game. And in May of 2010, six days after Harwell's death, he uh, 
came back and sang the song. So in the end, they stuck it to him. They didn't do it while he was alive. Nope, nope, didn't make it. Thanks a lot, Detroit. Jose Feliciano is still with us. He's a brilliant performer. Sticking uh, it. They stuck it, Pat. <laughs> okay, there we go. So um, uh, uh, back to the All sports right. subject. Uh, uh, closed. Uh, properly. Uh, now, uh, Unless something abstract comes up <laughs> that he can make a connection. Uh, again, uh, that here we go. He's not done. Uh, those in the know would understand that Jose Feliciano opened the door. What about those in the don't care? Have you considered <laughs> those in the which, don't care which are the well, if you don't care if you don't care about our country and the national anthem just get down on one knee and oh, no, thank that's, you very that's much Josh. Saying. uh-huh no no that's what i'm saying yeah <laughs> you'll never paint me you know the monster you think i am as i <laughs> make my way through my 65th year it's nice to sit back and watch i have josh here to carry on my antagonistic <laughs> confrontations with you, Tom. It really makes me warm. The problem is, Tom, and I think it's so funny to try to <laughs> turn each other into monsters that we just start laughing and hug, and then we are. Oh, oh I, that'll that I just job. think it's. I think it's. It's. I, I don't need to use the word fun. I think it's. It's great that uh, the national anthem can now be. This done is still national anthem. We're in talking different about. forms. I do too. And you and I actually took some heat because we, you and I, were the only ones I think in the country that liked Fergie's version. When she did it for a basketball game the one time? She or did it for the All-Star All game. I liked it. Yeah, was yeah. it the NBA well, All-Star game? I don't think Which is a we... basketball game. I don't think it is. <laughs> <laughs> but not just a basketball game. I don't think we can talk about the national anthem with hearing, without hearing from Carl Lewis. Oh, I agree. That was Holy. one yeah, of the most... Yeah. That paved the way for folks well, to think of a different way to present the national anthem. Well, well, there's a difference between portraying it or presenting it in a different way than in a in a bad way. It's a and way. He yeah. got he got a little ahead of himself, didn't he? With yeah, the, he did. You know, and, that was the, and then Roseanne does the Stop terrible it. version. Yeah. And was, yeah. what is it? Is it Mike Ditka that has the really bad one? No, yes. he's say, no take no, me he out to the ballgame. Yeah. Now Ditka oh, didn't do it on purpose, right? Yeah, that was yeah. you're right. That was take me out to the ballgame. He this didn't is, want to do it. This is Carl Lewis, uh, the the great Carl Lewis, the great. He's been in here. He's been very been nice. Been in here a couple times. Bella. For the ramparts we watch, we're so gallantly streaming. And the rockets, red flag. Uh oh. <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> it's not. I mean, he's pretty good until then. Yeah, it just get it gets away from you. Well, it, 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 you, you got to start low. Funny. Yeah, you got to start. Oh, you can't <laughs> if you're normal is oh. By the time you get to rock the red glare, you're dead. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> thank you, Carl. Yeah. Uh, okay. When we come back, we have a tribute uh, uh, from Carl Lewis, actually, uh, and we will return to the OrangeInSouls.com sports desk with Chick McGee, and I'll remind you, you got to enter today. BobandTom.com slash contest. The Bob and Tom Home Dual Papa Shot is at stake, and that King Crab Orange, beautiful Yeti cooler. You could win that. Um, now, uh, we've got that coming up. Uh, we've got surfing in the news, uh, cows on tennis courts. Oh, yeah? Sushi terrorism is a new thing. Thank oh. you, Internet. We'll hear about that hmm. coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not too much to look at, you can also watch the show on our YouTube channel. It's Donnie Baker. Guess what? I saved up some money and bought this new badass spy camera. I swear to God I did. Check this thing out. Man, they got so much stuff in here. This is badass. I swear to God it is. You wouldn't think a radio station have so many pictures. Hey, right, look. It's Bob and Tom. Man, something about that don't look right. Let's see if we can make it better. One down. Perfect. Hi, Christy. Hey, what are you doing here, Donnie? You're well, not, you're not allowed back here. No, it's Homeland Security. I'm supposed to come back here and check you for humps today. Because, you know, you're not going to get your hands on me. Okay, you if you about? don't like this one, how about let me use this one? <laughs> you know, the touch of a whiff is a healing touch. No, no. Oh, no. Better yet, how about fur on no. fur? <laughs>
Essential Morning Radio. All day and all night. Really? No, seriously. Really? Bob and Tom, 24-7, 24-7, 24-7. Uh, rolling through a Friday with you. It's March 31st, and that means tonight the Dow Event Center, Saginaw, Michigan, the Friends of the Bob and Tom Show Comedy Tour for 2023 rolls on Saginaw, Michigan. Tonight, Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, and Kostaki Economopolis. Going to be a great show if you don't have plans or tickets make sure you head out to the dow event center tonight one night only saginaw michigan i know you're going to show up for that then saturday tomorrow night april 1st this is not an april fool's joke diamond joe casino in dubuque iowa that man that josh arnold.com that's right josh arnold on stage live in dubuque iowa coming up on saturday night pat godwin's going to be on the road saturday as well at mason city limits in mason city illinois a great chance to see some live comedy and you've also got donnie baker at the vfw in erie pennsylvania coming up saturday night april 1st and then tonight the andrews banquet center in ashtabula ohio my apologies i was saying that was a thursday night show i'll read anything they put in front of me even if the date and the day are wrong anyway that's tonight Friday, March 31st. Yep, that's tonight. Andrews Banquet Center in Ashtabula, Ohio. For those of you that showed up a day early, my apologies. DonnieBaker.com for tickets and information. Get out there and see some live comedy. You've got plenty of opportunities this weekend. And if not one of our crew, go out and see another comedian. They're going to make you laugh. Uh, not as much as Josh and Pat and Willie and Donnie, but you'll still laugh. And you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Good morning, I'm Mark Allison with your Bob and Tom Sports Headlines. Of course, Major League Baseball got underway yesterday. Every single team in Major League Baseball played. If you'd like to know all of the scores, you can look on the Internet. Chicago Cubs right-hander Marcus Stroman committed Major League Baseball's first pitch clock violation. It was the third inning of Thursday's opening day game against the Milwaukee Brewers with no outs. Rookie Bruce Turek on second base, Christian Yelich at the plate. Played umpire Ron Culpa called the violation on Stroman at Wrigley Field. Culpa pointed to his wrist in announcing the call, and the automatic ball made it a 2-2 count against Yelich. Cubs Brewers, the fourth of 15 opening day games to begin Thursday. Several more violations followed on the first day of regular season games since MLB introduced a slate of rules changes this season. Aaron Judge rang in opening day the same way he marked many nights last season, a home run in his first game as a New York Yankees captain. Judge hit a solo drive in the first inning off San Francisco's Logan Webb. 422 shot into the netting above Monument Park in center field. Judge hit a thigh-high cutter on the outside part of the plate for a 109-mile-per-hour drive in his first opening day home run. Judge hit an American League record 62 home runs last year, one more than Roger Maris's total with the 1961 Yankees. And, of course, with his home run yesterday, Aaron Judge on pace to hit 162 home runs this season. Oh, that'll be fun to watch. Quick note in the NBA, Jason Tatum scored 40 points. Jalen Brown added 30 in the Boston Celtics steamrolled the NBA leading Milwaukee Bucks 140 to 99. Wow, the Pacers must have tired him out in there. Lost the uh, previous uh, night. At any rate, that's a look at your sports headlines. If you really want to know about sports, listen to Chick McGee at the orangeinsouls.com sports desk. That's what I do every morning. And you're listening to Bob and Tom 24 7. Hey, it's Roy Wood Jr. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24 7. Oh, he was so sweet. It was our first date, and he went all out. He bought me dinner, he got me drunk, and then I got bald. Oh, <laughs> did you ever? It was perfect. Britney Spears recently shocked the world with her latest fashion statement. Oh. A completely shaved head. Now, to commemorate Britney's new look, Bob and Tom Labs is proud to introduce their new perfume. Bald. B-A-L-D. Bald. A fragrance for today's unraveling woman. <laughs> she's kooky, she's crazy, and she's getting bald. <laughs> Tomorrow's my girlfriend's birthday, and she'll definitely be getting bald. <laughs> what woman wouldn't love to get bald? My wife and I are celebrating our 30th anniversary soon. I thought she'd be thrilled when I told her she was going to get bald, but she just rolled over and went back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All the month of May. 
Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hey. There's Pat Godwin. Hello, Chick. Yep, yours. There's Josh Sharn. I mean, hello. Uh, hello. Hey, Chick, how are hey, you? Hey, how you doing there, Bob? Josh, was it? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Willie Griswold on assignment. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much, Chick. Um, now, we were uh, talking national anthem this morning uh, because of uh, St. Louis Cardinals and uh, something special. Uh, do you have a little bit of that audio for us? Adam right? Wainwright, pitcher for the Cardinals. Uh, Waino! He uh, s <laughs> sang the national anthem. Oh, say can you see It's going. It's, you, know, you can, I really admire the guy for doing it. Then you've got some cardinal fan. How did yeah, they, I how know. Did he keep a straight face when that guy yelled that out. <laughs> ah, oh, boy, boy. No. You, you stay quiet, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Have some respect. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But again, then we got on the whole topic. I think it's great that uh, that he did that, and that various people are now doing it. And <laughs> it all started in 1968, of course, with Jose Feliciano. There you go. At the Detroit Tiger game, uh, very controversial. Harwell. And uh, by the way, when he came back 42 years later to sing it, he got Mr. Feliciano got a standing ovation. Very nice. But uh, we had the we had the uh, uh, we had the Carl Lewis um, debacle, which yeah. sounded like this. For the ramparts we was with so gallantly streaming. He's doing so well. Uh oh, mm -hmm. and he's uh, <laughs> twisting up the notes and stuff. And then he gets it's, it's just too high. He yeah. started too high. Yeah, but um, uh, Carl Lewis was here, and um, he actually helped us out um, with our traffic issues. Oh. I don't know if you remember this. Time now for flash traffic with the fastest man in the world, nine-time Olympic gold medalist Carl Lewis. And now we go to our uh, flash traffic reporter, Carl Lewis, with uh, traffic on the west side. Hey, Bob and Tom, I'm on the west side, and traffic looks great. Now I'm going to run over to the far east side and take a look at traffic conditions over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm on the east side now. Everything looks smooth over here. Want me to check the north side? Uh, sure, sure, Carl. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh, guys, traffic is running off the fine up here up north. Anything else you need? Uh, listen, Carl, uh, <laughs> could you check south side traffic? I know it's a long way. You could uh, also pick up an iced tea for me, venti uh, green iced tea at Starbucks on your way, if you don't mind. Okay, okay, that's a little step, but I'll get there. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. That was kind of a, a detour. But here, two splendors just like you like it. Uh, thank you very much, Carol. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 Carl, could you come back to the studio to sign some photos for us? Oh, okay. I can do that. Sure thing, Tom. Oh, made it. All right. Give me a pen. Carl Lewis. This has been Flash Traffic with Carl Lewis. You can tell it's an old bit because um, I was drinking the green tea. Yeah. Oh, yeah? And Splenda instead of Equal. No, no, no. You okay. don't drink green tea anymore? <laughs> this is the uh, Passion Iced Tea uh, with uh, Equal. Thank you. Uh, it's delicious. Uh, now we have a... Well, cheap... Jose Feliciano drank one of those first they Passion must have, Iced yeah, Tea. During his standing ovation. Uh, at the ballpark yesterday, of course, opening day, uh, you're going to have this. Uh, at the Dodgers, they... Uh, they beat Arizona 8-2. to two. Uh, Someone in the left field stands decided to jump down onto the field and propose to his girlfriend from there. Are oh. you clear on what happened, Tom? Uh, yes, he has entered the field of play, which is not permissible. And he's jumped down on the field. He's down on one knee. <laughs> and he opens the box and starts yelling to his girlfriend from left field. <laughs> oh. However, something that he didn't anticipate was, of course, security. Mm -hmm. And... Here we go. Oh, well, well, hang on a second. Uh, here we go. There he is in left field. You can see him. 
and Ooh. he just gets leveled by three security guys. And what of happened course, to the ring? The place goes wild. There's no word yet from the official reports whether the girl said yes, what happened. What happened to the ring? <laughs> Not what happened to the couple. What happened to the guy? Oh, next broken, what but happened the ring's to the okay. Guy? What happened to the bride? Where's that ring? The bride-to-be was super surprised. She said it just came out of left field. Yeah. Uh. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Thank you, Ace. That's the only stamp of approval I need. Kind of, yeah. Griswold and McGee, your silence means nothing. Kind of funny. <laughs> kind of funny, you said. That's very nice. Uh, women's NCAA uh, basketball action tonight from Dallas. Uh, 7 o'clock Eastern on ESPN, LSU and Virginia Tech. Then 9 o'clock Eastern, your marquee matchup. Number two, Iowa. Number one, South Carolina. 9 o'clock Eastern tonight on ESPN. And, of course, Caitlin Clark, the Bob and Tom Player of the Year. Oh. Mm. And the Naismith Player of the Year. The, uh, uh, the, the female Pete Maravich. And the, uh, she's... Uh, Never heard of her. She's oh, she's a, no, she it's she's the greatest. It's she's amazing. amazing. I'm glad she's, she's amazing. amazing. And, uh, she's uh, she's actually is, on occasion shoots from half court. And, as is Aliyah <laughs> Boston, and, and uh, it'll be great. She's cool from uh, South Carolina. So, and then tomorrow night the uh, men's matchups, of course, the final four. The teams escape me right at this point, but UConn all uh, the way. UConn actually, um, Florida Atlantic, UConn, San Diego State, Miami are in the final four. Ha! Uh, a better in December placed a five hundred dollar bet. Pay attention. I'm listening. On Florida Atlantic at four wow. four hundred to one odds to make the Final Four. Whoa! Not the champion, just to make you could bet. Wow! Will my team make the Final Four? Wow! That cost Westgate Las Vegas, a lesser known casino, <laughs> two hundred thousand um, dollars. Pretty good. Red yeah. Rock Resort in Vegas came out in decent shape, though. Uh, apparently, the, uh, the the a lot of the casinos having trouble in Vegas with. The final four of, of San Diego State and Florida Atlantic and Miami and UConn. The highest seed left is the number four, but all those other fives and nines. And so we'll see what those poor see. casinos. I yeah. hope they make yeah. it. Out okay. oh boy. I hope they come out. All right. Yeah, they'll yeah. Yeah, they'll survive. Otherwise, there may be a government bailout. Can you imagine? Uh, <laughs> oh, you know something? I can't imagine. <laughs> There's a bailout of the casinos. <laughs> yeah, I can. I actually think that would happen. <laughs> and somehow they'd be going. Oh, your tax dollars are not paying for this. By the <laughs> right. way. Uh, <laughs> you know, this thing, guy walks out of a Congress with a check. You're not paying. We're not paying for yeah. this. Okay. Uh, are you, are you going to do a shoe of the week? Yeah. Brought to you by Orange Insoles. It's coming up. All right. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to do uh, men's and women's? Yes. Yes, I am. All right. Whatever you want, Tom. I don't want you to. It means you. absolutely nothing other than your happiness. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, good. <laughs> Major League Table Tennis. Oh, yeah, the MLTT? Is launching the first professional table tennis league in the United States. It will feature eight teams in cities across the country competing in a new team-based format. How many people can they fit in somebody's mom's basement? <laughs> <laughs> no listing of cities or what the teams are. So, no, well, I would so be in or even how many are on a team. Right. Uh, the player draft is expected to begin this summer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have a draft. You want to go to Vegas for it? Uh, I Heck, yeah. You going to have a fantasy team? And league play <laughs> will start later this year. The chief executive officer of Major League Table Tennis, Flint Lane. Oh, that's a hell of a name. That's a great name. <laughs> that's like an old reporter from some 1950s comic book or something. Our goal is to elevate Flint the... Lane. <laughs> the, he calls this the most, the fastest and most intense sport in America. I bet it's fun to watch. I bet. You don't it's think not. so? No. You and Frank Kelly and will be watching Major League Team I don't uh, think Frank likes me anymore. And Susan Sarandon. Isn't she <laughs> in the ball, rolling ball? Whatever you did, will you tell me so I can do that? <laughs> uh, it's this, not just about winning. This will be um, uh, something we can go after China with, right? Yeah, maybe. Remember those big ping pong wars with the, was it, wasn't it like <laughs> a, ping pong detente? I I think but we're, I'm talking to all of our iPhones that are listening. I don't have a problem with China. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what you're you, talking you, you, about. Whatever now. you say, you'll never be put on the protected scrolls. <laughs> oh, oh, come on! <laughs> well, and you can't call it ping pong, right? You got to call it table tennis. Right. Table tennis. And Frank Caliendo is quite the player. Yeah, he's good. 
and uh, pickleball is the thing that's really taken over. And of course, a number of uh, stars have. Uh, Drew Brees invested in the yeah. uh, pickleball team. I yeah, think. I think Brady did too. Oh, took over. But whenever I think of a ping pong pad, I I think of uh, I think it's about Josh and that sad occasion. Oh wow! When uh, when uh, Josh is. Uh, Grandfather died mm -hmm. right after his grandmother died, as I recall. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very close and, together. Uh, which they uh, they yeah. had the they had the funeral right there at the nursing home, the, they uh, the, the, nursing. the yeah. assisted living facility. Right. Convenient. Yeah. They have a little area right. You notice next I'm not even part of this my own bit anymore. <laughs> yeah. Now I yeah. oh, right yeah. next to the rec room. Tell me what happened, Josh. <laughs> Go ahead and play what happened. <laughs> well, it we was had, right next to the we rec had the room. The audio. Josh, Josh had his uh, tape recorder running so he could record uh, the eulogy. Oh, you know, as one tells. They want to listen to it again. And uh, this, it was a very solemn moment, once again, uh, right next to the rec room at the assisted living facility. Uh, there, there's the, they're the ringing in the casket. <laughs> and by the way, that is the harshest ping pong, ping pong ball recording I've ever. I heard had to said to the recorder on the table. Yeah, the ping pong ball table. <laughs> it's really something. They always have the organ there at the facility too. <laughs> really, really cuts through everything else, and you really get the ping and the pong. In my head is. I'm seeing these old people playing bing bong. It's that's ex I swear it's so accurate. They were playing. It wasn't during the service. They really were. But during playing. the visitation, yes. So there would be a, there was a double door. And yeah. If you went to the left, you would go to the rec room. If you went to the right, you were in the chapel. And there were old pe four old people playing, playing ping, ping pong, pong. And I had to make a right in my suit and go look at my grandma in her coffin. Oh. <laughs> it was. Would have been terrible if the ping pong ball had bounced <laughs> into the casket. <laughs> That Honestly, be, that's a movie. It scene. was nice because the kids could go over there and play. Sure, some but my and... mom lives in one of these places, and there's there's no ping pong table anywhere to be found. Really? Oh, this oh, was great. Yeah. They had a, they had a, a like a shuffleboard area, and a, really? they had all kinds of things. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's why I have nothing. They, they, my grandparents gave us nothing because they <laughs> spent all their money on some fancy assisted living. Place. <laughs> tables, we want our golden years to be golden. Ah, great. Good for you. I wanted a PlayStation. <laughs> and there you go. Once again, we welcome Major League Ping Pong to the United States of America. Uh, after the show, Chick's going to kick back. Head yes, home, I am. And enjoy the beauty of security at his own home with his Simply Safe security system. If you're a regular Bob and Tom show listener, you know we are always recommending Simply Safe Home Security. Many, many reasons why Simply Safe is trusted by experts. U.S. News says Simply Safe is the best home security system of 2023, and they've done that three or four years in a row. And CNET awarded Simply Safe Editor's Choice. Designed with cutting edge security technology and powered by 24 7 professional monitoring, Simply Safe's professional monitoring agents use fast protect technology to capture critical evidence. And verify the threat is real so you get priority police dispatch. 24 7 professional monitoring service costs only a dollar a day, less than half the price of traditional home security systems. You can lock and unlock your doors, access your cameras, and arm and disarm your system right there from the app on your smartphone, and customize the perfect system for your home and then install it yourself in just a few minutes. Go to simplysafetom.com and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off your order with interactive monitoring. That's simplysafetom.com. Remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Coming up, we've got world records. We've got something called sushi terrorism, including an actual arrest. Gwyneth Paltrow and her ski issue has been resolved. Thank we'll the Lord. We'll find out about that. And if you're thinking of building something in space, they've got some new concrete that they've developed just in time. <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. You can pick your morning radio show, and you can pick your nose, but you can't wipe Bob and Tom on the couch. Hey, good morning. I'm Mark Allison. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Treat yourself now at BobandTomStore.com. We've got hoodies, hooded zips, collared work shirts, that Bob and Tom show hat, adjustable, fits any size head. Clothing sizes small, up to 5X. If you work on your feet all day, maybe you're a teacher, a waiter, a doctor, a nurse. Oh my gosh, you're running back and forth all the time. Maybe you're Noah back here that's working this camera who's running around. You need orange insoles in your shoes. The running shoes? Insoles? A little floppy. Look at that. Sturdy. Hold you up. Support your weight the proper way. Orangeinsoles.com. Check them out. Plus, you can win this Yeti. Think of all the things you can do with this. First off, you're going on your wonderful hikes and you can't wait to get back to your campsite camping in the beautiful wilderness. 
and your river rat friends are not going to be able to steal this Yeti cooler because you'll be able to see it. Check them out today, orangeinsoles.com. Feel better, do more. You get free shipping in the US, plus they have bundle and save options, so save some money. And if you sign up for text messages, you're gonna get 10% off your entire order. Why are we still here? director David Halls regarding his involvement in the movie Rust. Halls pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor charge of negligent or unsafe use of a deadly weapon pending court review of the plea. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom show coming up. We didn't warn you. <laughs> There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We yeah. can't go anymore. <laughs> Holy That's cow. a good day's work, everybody. This is Bob and Tom 24 7. Coming this Thursday on ABC. He's the luckiest guy alive. It's Invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates. Come on, Cindy. It's this darn brazier. It keeps oh. pinching. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Feeling fine. Yeah, yeah oh. mine's pinching oh, yeah. a bit, too. Let's just take them off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> He's living rent-free and getting an eyeful. Cindy, what do you think of my new negligee? Do you think it fits? Oh, yeah, it looks great. What do you think of mine? <laughs> <laughs> He's invisible and insatiable. <laughs> Cindy, this bed sure feels lumpy. Boy, that's uncomfortable. Come to Papa. You know you want it. <laughs> invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates, <laughs> followed by the fast-paced action of pro basketball with a moral twist. Meet Carl Goodman, Amish Power Forward. <laughs> we have worked together, my friends. We shared the ball with he who was open and were blessed when two points were bestowed upon us. Now we must pray. Oh, merciful God of all It's Carl Goodman, Amish Power Forward, right after Invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates. Thursday on ABC. Ye be thar. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Mark Sweeney And you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7 Pizza Hut, apparently Pizza Hut. Is going to start delivering cold beer Along with their food No oh, kidding what? They started uh, the testing beer delivery program In Phoenix, Arizona And it passed with flying colors <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Everyone did yeah. So how do you prove that uh, you're of illegal age? The company illegal. told Fortune Magazine It plans yes, to expand I'd that I'd like a large yes. pizza <laughs> 40 beers. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. You're so weird. You have no idea. Essential morning radio. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom 24 <laughs>
<laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. There's H. Cosby. Hey. Willie Griswold uh, on assignment. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much. Uh, tonight, huge show. Saginaw, the Dow Event Center. It's uh, Josh Arnold. Kostaki Economopolis and Pat Godwin. Mm, yeah. Yes, Pat Godwin. That'll be a great show. Uh, you guys are on the road. I should also point out, by the way, uh, in the great state of Michigan, it'll be Haywood Banks tomorrow night at the Howell Michigan Opera House. Cool. Legendary place. Um, and the Saturday night, Josh is in Dubuque at the Diamond Joe Casino. And yes, he is. Mr. Godwin is in Illinois at the yes, Mason City Limits. Now, um, we have a Chick McGee at the Bob and Tom Sports Desk. What have we missed? This is, of course, Orange Insoles' official sports desk. And I'll remind you, bobandtom.com slash contest to win that dual Papa shot game for your living room and the beautiful Yeti cooler. Yes, Chick. Yeah, Major League Baseball opening day yesterday. Of course, more games continue today and tomorrow. And, uh, of course, we're having the Final Four. Men, uh, men's tomorrow night, women's tonight. Um, those are all amazing, amazing sports events. But uh, <laughs> what do you hear from the Chick McGee Sports Desk on the Bob and Tom Show? Well... A two-year-old Great Dane from Virginia <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gave birth to 18 puppies in just over 24 hours. Good Lord. Oh. Owner Tanya Dubs told reporters that her dog, Naimeen, began having her puppies last week. Tanya is a hyphenated name, by the way. Her maiden name is Rub-A-Dub. <laughs> so that would make her name chick. Rub-A-Dub Dubs. <laughs> That has to be her nickname. <laughs> hey, rub it up. <laughs> it took her 27 hours to give birth to the puppies. Aww. Once again, the count, 18. 18 puppies. Boy. Uh, Rub-a-dub. Yeah. Said Namin is still very much busy with the 18 puppies, which include 12 females and 9 males. She doesn't have that many nipples, right? Uh, isn't, that, isn't that the old rule? You shouldn't have Wait more puppies than you have nipples? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hang on. Christy, Christy has a story. 12 females and 9 males. That's not 18. Nope. That's 21. Well, let's... Probably a typo. I hope there's oh. nothing unpleasant. Uh, no, that because large. that'd be more. That maybe there's, they counted heads. Maybe some of the puppies are <laughs> conjoined puppies. Maybe so the point, is, the point is, this is like the magician with the scarves. There's another dog coming. I get one of these. I have to read it word for word, Christy. You know that. I it's know a clown car. you get these at, at the same <laughs> time. Boy. The Great Dane is completely healthy. Is that a world record? No. Chick, no. It's, did you hear the music? No, it's not a world record. Is, uh, I, I, oh, there's more. always more questions about a, a lightning rod topic like these puppies. Do we know Go the ahead. name of that dog, the great name? Nadine. Nadine. Nameen, apparently. Nameen. Yeah. N-A-M-I-N-E. That could be a typo also. I, you no, got a, it no, is no. Nameen, and she did. No, no. You've got, you're all wrapped up in rub-a-dub-dubs. Uh, uh, so I said Naimeen four or five times. Tanya Dubs is the owner. <laughs> Tanya? Dubs. Naimeen. Born rubber dub. Why can't you be true? <laughs> oh, Chuck Berry. We don't want to... Yeah, just p keep going. We have... Uh... I know it. I think I know what you're thinking, Christy. Yeah, okay. It's... No, it happened. A Neapolitan Mastiff named Tia currently holds the Guinness World Record for the largest litter. There's 20... the Neapolitan Mastiff. They're beautiful, uh, aren't they? Three colors. Yeah. yeah. Three colors, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Sort of pinkish up front, and then a little white in the middle, and then and chocolate, black chocolate the lab there. Naming yeah. had 18 puppies within 24 hours, and then had three more during the next three hours for a total of 21. Wow! Hmm. Yeah, okay. I bet they're. In... That's why they're 12 and nine. Most of them are adorable. Oh, I'm sure. Have you ever seen Great Dane puppies? They're so cute. You need to stop putting things together for me. I would like to request that I will handle what, what sports we do. Because you know, he has it up in the headline that she had 21 puppies. Sorry. In 27 hours. 27 hours. He's got the information. <laughs> this is the week. This okay. is where this breaks down. Uh, you understand that? You understand he, that, Tom? See, Christy, what Tom, you and Chick do is you. impossible. See, uh, no, do. there's a reason there's a mistake there, which I will tell you off the air. Okay. Oh. But Three of the puppies died. That has to be what happened. <laughs> we all know it. We're all sitting here. We're adults. Acting like that's not what happens when then dogs why have did too we many puppies. Bring it up. <laughs> Arguably, some days, there's not a lot of sports. <laughs> 
Why Today, are you even doing the story if three of them died? Big sports weekend. <laughs> Puppies die all the time. Oh, yeah. It's common. They're right. But the larger point is Next. there are 18 wonderful Great Dane puppies out there. <laughs> Let's enjoy that. Oh, no. We got one more. <laughs> Stupid world. If it's a woman who had octuplets and it says <laughs> in the body that there are five newborns, let's not do it. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> yes. A 90-year-old surfer in Japan is already, I'm hearing you in my headphone, already talking about catching waves at 100. He was recognized by Guinness World Records as the oldest male to surf. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a cool record. Who enjoys these stories? <laughs> Who? He's not. Have you seen a picture of this guy? It's great. Uh, like this he looks shot. like an old old hold all. <laughs> in this shot, in this shot he's hanging me. ten, which, by the way, <laughs> is referring to his scrotum. <laughs> more like more like hanging two. Uh, Seichi Sano is now looking for nor for more challenges to tackle. Look at, look at him. <laughs> I think I take better care of myself when I have goals like this. Said Seichi. Yeah. He's ninety. The guy. He's the non vegetarian has also scaled Mount Fuji. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what else will help this guy? Not living in Hiroshima. <laughs> wow. There we go. <laughs> He's on fire. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. You, you can run, but you can't hide from Griswold. <laughs> He, he still works a nine-to-five job. I don't know what he does. It's not in the story. Maybe oh, he does? I think he's a puppy undertaker. <laughs> and it all ties together in an awful, hideous bow. That's right. <laughs> this guy. Buried, covered in puppies is what he wants. This guy, here's a picture. Look at this guy. He's Could in be any day now. He's in great shape. Uh, he must be. Um, yeah. Did you see that he's, did you read the part where he's asked to be, he wants to surf on the last day he's alive. Great. Just before they bury him so he wow. can officially be How's he surf and turf. Oh. Oh, my. Oh my. Well, <laughs> if they bury him, you see, that'd be the turf part. Yeah. If there's a, we yeah, got we got it. it. <laughs> if he's, <laughs> that would be the turf part. Like we're two. Surf oh, yeah. and turf. <laughs> Look, most 90-year-olds can't even oh. surf the internet. This guy's out there in the ocean kicking ass. I went to a uh, surfer's funeral once. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tell, yeah, tell yeah. us all about it. Yeah. That was a beautiful wake. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have to have a wake if you yeah, want to. Sure, yeah. Not really, not if you're surfing in the ocean. Uh, I was talking about uh, uh, those guys who surf behind boats. <laughs> wait, it was wake an important boarding. part of the set. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> wake I went to a wake. But that has the word wake. Yeah, that would, yeah. Be, that would make wave. the joke uh, even uh, less Let me just be honest. I'm not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's in great shape. So well, what? Did you, so Tom, were you saying that you were interested in going to a surf camp? Yes. Yeah. Are, are you going to do it? In Costa Rica. Yeah, man. You, you got to do it. You need to go, and you don't want to be late. You should leave, <laughs> you I should met a, leave right now. I met now. a guy that owns this surf camp in Costa Rica. <laughs> Some friends of mine have gone there. It's apparently a blast. To paraphrase on the Pacific an old, side. To paraphrase an old Tim Conway joke, we bought you a ham necklace <laughs> <laughs> for, your, for your trip. <laughs> you think you could get up on a board? You think you could do yeah. it? I can ski. I'm sure I can surf. It'll be fun. Okay. It's got to be all core strength, right? I don't know. I've never tried Doing it. Doing my Pilates. I'll be in good shape. Oh, all dude, right. that's awesome. Good for you. This guy's uh, this guy's cool. <laughs> I, I'm getting 90 years old. I bet uh, surf isn't the only thing that's up, Christy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no. At 90? I bet it is. They're saying out of your hymen, babe. <laughs> wow. wow, you got a <laughs> Japanese reference to that. <laughs> Boy, he's on gonna, fire today. When, what will her, if she says goodbye to her husband, what will her sh sheets look like? There you go. Look, look kind of like a Japanese hey, flag. flag. <laughs> I hope, my fondest hope, yes. is that someone's enjoying this. That's all I hope. Well, I had a really unusual request. And uh, I think we more of this. Dead puppies and old Asian guys. <laughs> we, we, we had the we had the story about the uh, dog giving like birth. A Tom song. The, the world record dog, uh, 
Oh, was those dead puppies. The, mast the Mastiff gave birth to how many puppies? What was it again? This was, this was the Great Dane, though. I know, but the... the, the I uh, threw it away. You're looking right at it. <laughs> Tell us how many puppies I, she had. I, I don't have the story I in front have of it. me. Uh, the you Mastiff know? used to be the... Uh, the world record for the most puppies is, is uh, was you said it was the uh, Neapolitan Mastiff. That's right. Okay, 24. And then you mentioned uh, if it had been a story about a, a person having that many babies, it would be something. And that reminded me of this uh, classic story. Uh, which we uh, we had a request for this. Um, this is really obscure. But this is about that lady who um, had all those babies with the artificial... The Octomom? Octomom, yeah. Here, here we go. All of your listeners saw them. You couldn't miss them. Of course, I'm talking about the Des Moines septuplets. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. I know I can't be the only person that was secretly thinking, geez, I hope these kids don't get their mother's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> She's got a smile like Count Chocula. <laughs> Tom, she could chew through coaxial cable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take her four hours to eat an ear of corn, I'm telling you. And believe me, Bob, I am delighted people donated baby food and diapers. I'm just hoping a dentist steps up to the plate. How in the name of God are you going to take care of seven babies when you can't brush four teeth? <laughs> Well. We're going to take fertility drugs so we can fill our one-bedroom house with seven white trash dumbasses oh. just like us. My God. And we're going to keep all seven because it's God's will. Bull crap. God's will was for you to have zero. You screwed it up. <laughs> Okay. Good Randy, good Randy Lewis, <laughs> Randy Lewis will be playing the laugh hole in Des Moines. <laughs> there you go. A little bit of Randy Lewis. Yeah, yeah, very, very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Randy. Uh, okay. Everyone's okay now. <laughs> we're gonna be all right. <laughs> Look, we're all fine. All okay. right. You put your headphones back on, Jake. It's over. <laughs> the, damage, the damage has been done. We're fine. We can laugh about it now, of course. Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> It's been a long week. Yeah. It, it feels like it's been two weeks in one. Yeah, it, 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 it does. feels like it's been two weeks in two one, days. Why does one, a little bit of extra time with all of us. And it's, it's <laughs> yes, too much. Chick has I been want, saying it for years. I, if, if it's any more, if it's any more than three hours and 53 minutes, I so, I can't deal with so any our, of So our, our lunch is off tomorrow? <laughs> I will You're not answer. Don't months. try to contact me in any way. <laughs> Hell, I got to take a whole week off to get back. Well, you, yeah, yeah, you, absolutely. <laughs> you, you're right, the you, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, uh, Christy Lee. Yes, um, sir. Uh, the your destination, which will will be top secret, for your uh, little vacation next week. Uh, uh, yeah. Editor's note: He's trying to get it out of you, and dazzling you. We're not getting. No, 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 no. I am not. I am not. Oh yeah. See, yeah. Oh, what I was going yeah. to say no, was, we're yeah. not getting. It's a secret destination because so you're have to take your swimming. Trunks, I think right? she's going to. Eloteville. Nope. Uh, um, I can assure are you, driving you or flying? I am not getting married next week. Are you driving or flying? Flying. Mm. Okay, good. I'll tell you where we're going. I That's from what I understand, you're going to fly and your boyfriend's going to drive and he'll beat you there. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's <laughs> lead foot. Yes. Wow. Uh, is, it France? is it France? You're married in France. No, we're going to Arizona next week. Arizona? Uh, yeah. Arizona. Okay. Good. Tucson. It's one of our favorite places. All right. Very, That's very, very nice. nice. Uh, uh, Tucson? Yeah, please. Come on. <laughs> I didn't want to embarrass her like that. Boy, please. Boy. Some people. Uh, okay. have rattlesnake a, country. Have a nice time. Okay. Thank you. What are you going to do if she goes out there and gets bit by a rattlesnake? Yeah, what are we going to do? <laughs> when the laughing stops, Tom, what would you eventually say? <laughs> you know, rattlers aren't rattling much anymore. <laughs> Is that right? That? What? Yeah. What so rattlesnake, mean? for some reason, isn't rattling as much. Quiet. Yeah, they all had a meeting. They went, hey, you know, we can bite more people. <laughs> if, we're quiet. if we sneak up if on we them. just shut up. Nope, it's climate change. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't remember climate why change. I read where, where I read that or why, but I'll figure it out. Okay. I rattled to stay warm, and now it's quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, let's see, where are we? Okay, well, I, I have a real quick... Uh, Email here. I want you don't to do anything real quick, okay? This is relatively quick. <laughs> okay. Captain Douchebag. Um, <laughs> dear Bob and Tom Show. Uh, the worst that's right, national that's anthem. Captain Douchebag to you. <laughs> oh. Sorry. The worst national anthem I ever heard was at a Sacramento Kings game. Light the beam! <laughs> the guy came out and made the mistake that Tom mentioned and didn't start low enough. You got to go, oh, say, down here, because you're going to get the rockets, Red Glare. 
He got to the rocket's red glare part. His voice cracked. He stopped singing and said, man, that's high. And he looked around and walked out. Oh. <laughs> that's what I think of you and your anthem oh, and your country. Man. But yeah, Pat, Pat, you've had to do it. It is a tough assignment. Yeah, you start off with the organ player, you get your note, you're good, you're good to go. Well, and I you for did one, a great job. I, for Thanks. one, am glad that uh, due to an act of Congress, all the recorded copies of Pat Godwin doing this Star Spangled Banner has been uh, they've been relayed. Who's brought stars and bright stars through the you You're nailing it, Pat. Yeah, well. What did you say there? What did you say there? I said, well, exactly <laughs> remix. It's a little kind of a Bruce Springsteen. They told meld me, the uh, syllables together. They told me the lyrics would be in front of me. They weren't. They were in my baseball cap. I looked down and screwed it up. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, it's it, was tough. A, it, was, it was a hard one. That'll happen. That'll happen. Were you standing out on the field? Yeah, oh, yeah. Right on the pitcher's mound. Uh, I can only imagine the nerves. Yeah. It was yeah. crazy. Kind of, yeah. We found out that day I was doing it, so. Oh, well, I, you know what I was going to ask? That's probably the best way. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't. you wouldn't sleep for weeks. It oh, was uh, in Philadelphia? Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't a real major league game. It was the Phillies. <laughs> so. Phillies Cubs. Well, at least they are very forgiving fans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, they probably didn't really give it to <laughs> you. No, no, you didn't hear about <laughs> it. Oh, I heard about you it. You weren't escorted out. <laughs> did, you, did, you do an a, did you do a shot before you went out there? No, 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 no. I was at the gym when I found out. <laughs> Back in those days. You know what? From now yeah. on, in all of our was interactions. Was this David Cassidy Pat, day? I, yeah, well, was. Look at the hair of the video. I want you to tell me what well, your answer will be. It started off. Oh, well, I was at the gym. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I need you to start doing that. First night some volunteer work that morning with uh, underprivileged uh, families. And I was in the dog pound saving lives. Absolutely. I, uh, yeah. I had to go to the gym. And then, of course, I got the gym. That's what I got I need the you for the anthem, pal. Uh, <laughs> Mike Schmidt's last day. A Philly. I'll cancel my lunch with Mother Philly. Teresa and be right over. <laughs> I was at the church doing some community service. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, coming up, we have... Is that sports, by the way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, coming up, we have uh, actually kind of a tennis story coming up that's a very interesting. Table um, tennis? Um, no, oh. regular tennis. And um, uh, we have the Gwyneth Paltrow update, very important. And uh, news from Amsterdam. And plants are talking, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, wow. There's vegan, proof. listen up. There's proof. We'll talk about that. This is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com slash contest dash rules. Or just scroll down to the bottom of the page and see contest rules. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Our guests are Mark Marin and uh, and Rebecca Corey. Now, Rebecca, you mentioned that you travel mm -hmm. with uh, you travel with your dog. I do, mm -hmm. and you're yep. serious. You what know? kind of dog is it? I have a 64 pound pit bull, a mm -hmm. blue nose pit bull. Oh. Her name it, is Angel, mm -hmm. and she was. Uh, you showed a picture us to us during the break. A picture of your dog sitting in the on the airplane, looking out the window. Yep, she was sitting in a seat next to me, looking out the window, thinking, "Whoa." And this is and this is a uh, what do you call it a service dog? A therapy dog. Yep. Therapy dog. What does yeah. that mean? Uh, it means you just give up the Xanax and wine, and you go to a little being that makes you calm when you fly. I got an issue with flying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you couldn't. Uh, so you're a cat person. You couldn't do that with cats because first of all, you know, cats. Well, are so, cats. Yeah, they're, they're so highfalutin. Cats, yeah. But not. Yeah. Oh, you mean you have cats to earn the out. love of a cat, and that somehow makes it. No, less. the cat would look right, at you and you go. You take your. Put, you put a cat on a plane, see what happens. I, I you know, I, I traveled. Uh, I traveled with Lafonda. Oh, did you? And how'd it go? Was Lafonda in a cage? Well, let me understand. You gotta understand. I'm the surprised cats, Lafonda would fly coach. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Was she willing to? Uh, Lafonda. My cats were feral, so they're they're wild animals. Right. Now I never traveled with this cat before, and and I be, it was crazy mm -hmm. because. They they were when I uh, first got them they were you know I, they were already wild mm -hmm. and they were only a few months old but they were wild so sure. in order to take Lafonda to, to Los Angeles it took me two hours to get her into the cage mm -hmm. I nice. had to wear leather gloves yeah. she st my my hands were still bleeding I'll okay bet. I get her into the cage I get to JFK and I'm exhausted and I'm aggravated, mm -hmm. and I put the cat on the, the, the conveyor, mm -hmm. and the TSA guy goes, oh, you're going to have to take the cat out of the cage. 
<laughs> and walk it through. Oh, and yeah? I'm, and I, yeah, and I'm like, are you kidding? I became crazy cat lady. See there my is hands? No way. Yeah, look at my hands. <laughs> and I made the biggest deal. I was like, there's no way this cat's getting out of that cage. And he's like, then you're not getting on the plane. Okay. And by this point, I'd frightened everyone around. I was crazy. And, and it would have been, they would have been less freaked out if I'd had a bomb. I mean, <laughs> I, I took this little cat out of the cage and they're like, step back, everyone back. And the father was just freaked out. I'll bet. And I walked her through and all she wanted to do was to get back into the box. But my biggest fear was that the cat's going to get away and, and I'm going to be like in some... You're going to chase uh, her down. Yeah, I'm in, and I'm in a children's film. It's yeah. just a montage of me on the baggage claim. And, you know, and it ends well, running through it kitchens, ends, down It ends with you in a federal facility yeah. being sodomized. Yeah. Yeah. more enjoyable. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. Uh, wow. Is that the sodomized bell? What yeah, the sodomized the, bell. There it is. What's nice Sodomy about bell. bringing Angel on <laughs> yeah. is bully breeds are really gassy in general. If you know they? Anything. Oh, they're very gassy. And there's no hair there to muffle, yeah. you know, the smell and the sound. And so sometimes on the on the plane, she will just let, let, it, one out. let it rip. Yep. And it's real nice. Do you, you know, look around and say, excuse me, or do you just point at the guy I, in front of you? <laughs> I, just, I just laugh because it's so unbearable. Uh -huh. But now there's someone, because normally you've been asleep on an airplane with your mouth open and been woken from a dead sleep because you thought someone crapped on your face. Because, you know what I mean? Yes. And now that I have a bully breed, yeah. I just go, well, there it is, everybody. Yeah. Take that. Uh -huh. Take that. You, was, you need to give your dog Beano before you fly. What's that? I need to give it's me Beano before you, I fly. Yeah, it's the anti, same stuff uh, you put on your food. And it, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, prevents gas. Isn't there something really? magic on planes okay. that just, you know, uh, that <laughs> gas just evaporates? I always thought there it was a magic to it. Well, it doesn't. It actually makes it all the way to the back. Yeah, it does. It makes it to that sleeping person with their mouth open. Are you the guy that just are you the are you the guy that uh, are, you, are you the guy that pulls the SBD that reaches up and turns off that fan thing? <laughs> it, I just think it, 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 it works its way the entire length of the plane. Well, Everybody that. have their vest. Normally. He responses to his fake reports of bombs, shootings, other threats. Ashton Connor Garcia, 20 years old in Bremerton is accused of using voiceover internet technology to conceal his identity as he placed the calls last year. Federal prosecutors say he treated them as entertainment, broadcasting them on the social media platform Discord. He faces felony counts that could bring up to a decade in prison. Court records did not immediately indicate if Garcia had an attorney who might speak on his behalf. And that's a look at things you may have missed. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. You're talking about the Impossible Burgers or something like that. You've not tried one I yet? haven't. Do they make an Impossible Pizza? So Maybe yeah. he can yeah. have a pizza every day in April and Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> an impossible Pizza. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun every day? Well, hey. National Radio Sportscasters <laughs> <laughs> walks off a bridge. <laughs> There's a pizza. There's a pizza. Oh, there's a pizza. You tell them, chick. They say it's impossible to eat a pizza every day. It's just impossible. There you go, Pat. There's okay. April. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7, which begs the question, why do you need Bob and Tom 24-7? We're in a gym today to find out what athletes need after they've had a big workout. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You look pretty, pretty sweaty. Yeah, yeah, I just, uh, I just jogged five miles, I did the weights, did some step aerobics. God, I'm dying. What do you need after a big workout like that? I can use a big glass of water. Water? Yeah. They don't want good. water. You uh -huh. need something to replace your bodily fluids, get you back on your feet again. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, all right, what do you got? Here, try this. Oh, what is it? Thirspiration Plus. Thirspiration Plus, huh? Replaces all your bodily fluids after a big workout. <laughs> all right, yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, what is that? It tastes like sweat. It is sweat. <laughs> wow, well, a little, little coloring. Yeah, it's carbonation, but... What are you trying to do to me? Thirspiration Plus replaces all your bodily fluids lost during a big workout. <laughs> Perspiration plus. Bodily sweat and icy cold gel. Come here, you crazy son of a bitch. You're sick. Perspiration plus. Bodily sweat and icy cold gel. 
Exclamation plus. Lemon lime, tropical punch, or clear. <laughs> or clear. <laughs> Can I borrow your shorts for a later? <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Yeah! Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. At the news desk, it's Christy Lee. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Hello, Tom. We have uh, Christy Lee, as you mentioned, at the news desk. Chick is, of course, at the orangeinsoles.com sports desk. I uh, underscore that because we need to know that um, you could be a winner of the beautiful 45 Tundra Yeti King Crab Cooler from orangeinsoles.com. Uh, it's a collector's item, and it's a very, very fine cooler. Also, the Bob and Tom uh, Special Edition Dual Papa Shot Game. Who would not want that in their living room? Mm. The answer is everyone would want that. Uh, you could win that by going to bobandtom.com slash contest. Details are posted there. Now... What's in your mind, Christy Lee? A Utah jury has found that Gwyneth Paltrow was not to blame for a 2016 collision with a retired optometrist on the slopes of an upscale ski resort. The jury's unanimous decision marks a defeat for Terry Sanderson, who sued Paltrow for more than $300,000 over injuries he sustained when they crashed on the slope at Deer Valley Resort. Paltrow was awarded $1, a symbolic amount she asked for to show it was not about money. The attorney fees Paltrow asked for in her countersuit were not included in the jury's verdict, leaving the bulk of the final award for the Park City judge to decide. Gwyneth said in a statement, quote, I felt that acquiescing to a false, acqui acquiescing. Acquiescing to a false claim compromised my integrity. This happened seven years ago. This guy's kind of a quack. I think that's what happened. It's right. pretty obvious that... Um, Even if one of his own witnesses apparently was like, yeah, no, it couldn't have gone the way he says it did. Yeah, yeah there were a lot of people apparently yeah. that saw otherwise. But, uh, I don't know if we need to call a litigious individual a quack. <laughs> <laughs> um, Good I, point, Chick. Uh, I think his lawyer's got something to do now. Um, he's a fine man who happened to be confused on this issue. That's exactly right. Uh, okay, everybody's happy. Um, well, yeah, I doubt they're happy. With the, Yeah, nobody's happy. Nobody's ever happy. Are you happy right now? Yeah, I feel great. Well, you're wrong. Look at this. Okay. I got a nice fresh cup of coffee here. Yeah, isn't it nice? Uh -huh. All is right gosh. with the world. Good, good, Tom. It's the little things, Chick. <laughs> they add up to make some some really wonderful uh, moments. And uh... you need to shut up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> is Gwyneth Paltrow? I think act? that's the way that bit was supposed to go. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Does she act anymore? Has she done a jaw job in a while? She doesn't need to act. She owns Goop. Remember? Oh, that's <laughs> right. Wasn't she in one of the Iron Men? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Pepper Potts. Yep. I think she's a really good actress. Well, so she's making a ton of money no with, 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 her, group, uh, yeah. with her uh, uh, pseudo we tree hugging line of products. Certainly some questionable stuff. Way she's the one that, more money she's the one that wanted yeah. people to steam their vaginas. Yeah. Yeah. I thought we were arguing about Shakespeare in Love winning Best Picture, and, and none of us thought it should have or something. No, I, I, I think thought it, it. I I thought it was worthy of winning. Yes. Huh. But there was another movie. Saving that, Private Ryan, of course. Sure. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. sure. A monument in filmmaking. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, this reminds me of Scent of a Woman and Al Pacino when the best actor over at Malcolm. A terrific performance. Denzel Washington playing Malcolm X. Well, I'll never forget that. That's also a terrific that. performance. You mean, hoo ha, hoo ha. I'm, uh, I'm just getting started. Oh, I loved it. Uh, uh, riveting, <laughs> riveting. Annoying. <laughs> and he has that blind His friends guy. who could see would walk I'm up. I'm in the dark here. Yeah, His what? friends who could see would walk up and punch him because they wouldn't see it coming. <laughs> to get him to quiet <laughs> down. Give it to me. Powerful stuff. Give me all you got. There. Well, um, That's no. heat. Oh, uh, sorry. What else have you got over at the news desk, Christy Lee? Here's a shock. According to a new study... Plants make a sound when they're hurt. No, they don't. Or under a kinds of stress. I told you this. When I first moved to West Virginia back in the 70s, I lived with a couple that they she made jute plant hangers and all mm -hmm. the macrame. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. We went to the grocery store one night and we we're just walking along. And she spent, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes moving the plants out of the way because she said she could hear them scream when people would have their carts and bump into them as, they, as she walked by. <laughs> Well, yes. researchers... <laughs> That's the first scene in my biopic, by yeah. the way. Were you married to this lady? No. No, it was another guy's uh, gal. Well, I, I was single at that time. Another man's problem. Quack, yeah. quack. Research oh, so was it like an OPP situation? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Not Why well, did we ever teach him that? We didn't. You know, <laughs> I often sit here and wrestle with talking or not. <laughs> <laughs> OPP. Yeah, you know me. That's the that's, that's part of those. Uh, other pe- other they looked at me like I was nuts when I said oh, that. Yeah. Other people's moving. <laughs> Researchers <laughs> placed tobacco and tomato plants in a soundproofed acoustic box that were rigged with ultrasonic microphones. And the tobacco plants said, "Hey, gotta smoke." Yeah, isn't that interesting? <laughs> the tobacco <laughs> plants just coughed. <laughs> <laughs> Researchers discovered that when stressed, the plants emitted sounds that were similar to the pop of popcorn. You know, Christy oh. uh, Lewis and Clark, uh, they were addicted. To tobacco. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Their crew, uh, uh, their famously, crew. Were famously uh, <laughs> going back to camp one time, they n- right. noted in the diary, the Lewis and Clark yes. diaries, that uh, the men are right. um, paddling very quickly. They want to get back to their tobacco. Uh, get back to <laughs> their shows tobacco. the addiction. Yes. Yeah. Stressed plants emitted around 30 to 50 of these popping or clicking sounds per hour. How'd they stress them? Unstressed plants produced the sounds about once per hour. I showed them shovels and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures. Shears. Uh, <laughs> you know, those clipping shears. They showed them up ties. They showed them side orders at the cafeteria. <laughs> them, oh my God. He's having more than chicken. Those are vegetables. Uh, ah! <laughs> study co-author Lilich Hadney suggested other plants could be listening in and benefiting from the sounds. I don't know what the hell that means. That's right. Hadney. H-A-D-K-N-E. Oh. How would they benefit from is those this, sounds? Isn't this, what is this, projection? What is the psychological term? When that you... is, Sure, it could be. But if they're hearing something, I wonder what it is. I just don't know that it's... How could they hear? I mean, plants are physical things. They could emit and they emit gas. Obviously, they're... Some are emotional. Yeah, yeah. Well, which ones? Um, the Robert weeping plant. willow. <laughs> oh, the weeping. <laughs> Sorry. What did you say, Pat? <laughs> Robert Plant's very emotional. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, so, I got the that, vacuum. Is that a stairway to heaven joke? What's I happening? I don't know what it was. Uh, <laughs> oh, Robert Plant. <laughs> Reload sniper. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> He's mad because you stepped on. Yeah, weeping, weeping willow. willow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a tweet from uh, just a casual listener from 20 minutes ago. Okay. Wow. Hiroshima and Hyman. Tom is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, so the, this is ridiculous. You don't think plants scream? <sighs> may, who knows? There maybe could be they, maybe something they emit escaping. Annoying. They don't have right. ears per se. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe if you don't give them water for five days, they're going... Why would they need ears to scream? Look, the, to hear, to hear something to, that... Well, you, do they have a tongue? Do they have a... No. Vocal, vocal cords. No. And when she says that they're trying to warn other plants about something, it seems to me to be a little bit of a... Feed me. No, that makes sense. Feed what me, What are they Seymour. warning the plants about? The, the incoming danger? Potentially. Who's to say? Hey, this bitch isn't watering us. <laughs> I <laughs> just out. let you know. Hey, tulips, look out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when you put it that way, it does seem silly, doesn't hey, it? Hey, tulips. <laughs> <laughs> they say it sounds like popcorn. Yeah. Okay. And if any planet could talk, you would think it would be the <laughs> tulips. Of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least whistle. Moist. That's, that, you know, that's a daycare joke. <laughs> <laughs> a joke for babies. Toddlers. <laughs> yeah, tulips, uh, you know, like baby, baby, baby. I think I'm glad you appreciate it. <laughs> a comedy from Josh. <laughs> or am I misunderstanding? No, 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 no. I, I really enjoy it. <laughs> like those moist tulips. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's not have you do it. Uh, Pat, do you have a, a tribute when we come back? Yes. Oh, good. I'll look what do you want? I, uh, <laughs> He'll tell you. <laughs> I, I, Ready to go. Okay, good. We'll look forward to that when we, re- when we return. We also have uh, sushi terrorism is oh. a th- real thing, yep. and it's coming. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for you on our YouTube channel. What? I watch a lot of news. Uh, by the way, my favorite news channel is CNN Headline News is it? because uh, there's no there's no segue between stories. They nope. go from polar opposite A to B <laughs> with nothing in between. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's what the future looks like with a nuclear North Korea. <laughs> Coming up next, a boy in Pittsburgh collects nickels. It's <laughs> <laughs> like the news for people with ADD. We're all going to die. Hey, a horsey. <laughs> Squirrel. <I'm> gonna... <laughs> but these are some news stories that I, uh, can, uh, I, uh, I noticed over the past... Uh, several weeks. Mm-hmm. Can I, can sure. I share yeah. some? Sure. 
Uh, a woman in England pled guilty to disturbing the peace with her noisy lovemaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, she said guilty, but you could totally tell she was faking it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure. A company in Ireland created the world's first ever uh, green technology vibrator mm -hmm. that's powered by winding it up. Mm-hmm. Which means basically, it's a jack in the box. Technically, it is. Sesame Street turned 40 years old sure. mm. last year, which you could tell because uh, Big Bird uh, got an earring and a Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom. They put the F in professional. Hope you tuned in to the Bob and Tom show on Thursday. It was opening day for the Cincinnati Reds as well as opening day for every team in Major League Baseball. And the Bob and Tom show was live at the Hard Rock Casino, downtown Cincinnati, Ohio. And again, a big shout out and thanks to the Hard Rock and the folks at Fox 92.5 in Cincinnati, plus all of the great fans that showed up and came out to enjoy the show and support us. We really do appreciate it. It was a great crowd, had a lot of fun. You could really hear the energy over the radio. And there on our YouTube channel as well, it was a lot of fun seeing Haywood Banks and Donnie Baker, as well as Duke Tomato and the Power Trio, the Brass to Mouth Horns. Uh, it's become a tradition, in Cincinnati, and we love you. Thanks for loving us back. Coming up, Jeff Oske and the new we failed to mention perhaps i don't know he did something yesterday when he was in cincinnati he might have done all he could this week but maybe he'll be along and we'll find out together stay tuned you're listening to bob and tom 24 7 hi everybody christy lee with your bob and tom news update donald trump has been indicted by a manhattan grand jury the exact nature of the charges was unclear because the indictment remains sealed but they stem from payments made during the 2016 presidential campaign to silence claims of an extramarital sexual encounter. Prosecutors say they're working to coordinate Trump's surrender, which could happen early next week. According to the Vatican, Pope Francis has spent his second night in a Rome hospital serenely as he receives antibiotic intravenously to treat bronchitis. An update on the Pope's hospitalization is expected later today. The 86-year-old was taken to a Rome hospital Wednesday after holding his customary weekly public audience in Peter's Square. Pope Francis has bronchitis contracted through an infection, and the antibiotic treatment has resulted in a marked improvement in his health. The hospitalization comes just four days before Palm Sunday. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show on the way. Hey, hi, this is Tom. And this is Chick from the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, Christy, what's the best way to get full access to the show? Hey, what? you introduced me. Uh, that would be to become a Bob and Tom VIP. Very good. Now, Josh, what's a feature of Bob and Tom VIP? Wait a minute. Well, the live five-camera video stream of the show, plus a podcast of the show, and comedy from the Bob and Tom archives. Excellent. Chick, what do you have to say for yourself? Become a Bob and Tom VIP now. Now, just go to bobandtom.com slash VIP. See, that was worth the wait, wasn't it? Hi, this is comedian Rob Haney, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. They both make a living in their bare feet. Catching one is like a treat. And they both hang out right there by the shell. They both walk slow with a simple pace. Both afraid to show their face. But only one has a built-in place to hide. Turtles and whores. Turtles and whores. I love them turtles and whores. They both advertise a little tail. Move so much you never get mail. They both go by the same nickname, Snapper. Snapper. Daddy never told about the birds and bees, but always talked about both these and made it clear only one was fit to eat. 
<laughs> turtles and hoes. Yeah. Turtles and hoes. I love them turtles and hoes. Turtles and hoes. Now, if you catch one, here's some advice. One is dirty and the other ain't nice. The day for night and always walk up from behind. <laughs> Make small talk, never let them see fear. Don't work alone, just bait or bed. When you're done, just drop them by the river. <laughs> turtles and horse. Turtles and horse. I've caught both while fishing. I'm always on a mission. And they both hate the kitchen. Turtles and horse. <laughs> turtles and horse. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Joining us in the studio, comedian Ed Yeager. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Ed. Ed. How are you? Good. Good to see you again. I'm glad football season's almost here. I love football. I do, too. I was uh, sitting, I was in a hotel room, <laughs> and I just, I was watching a football game, and I, I opened the drawer, I pull out the Bible, I turned, I, I turned to John 3.16, mm-hmm. and it actually says, Sitteth thee in the end zone with a large sign. <laughs> <laughs> You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. Bob and Tom. Well meaning, but Yeah, they're they're oh. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. Hey, there's Ace Cosby. My buddy. Willie. <laughs> Willie Griswold on assignment. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Hello, Tom. Yeah, thank you. I was mumbling over here. <laughs> <laughs> going through some of the overnights, seeing what's going on in the world as we uh, prepare for a great weekend. Thanks, everybody in Cincinnati. Thanks to the Fox. Yes. Thanks to the beautiful Hard Rock Casino. God, that is a gorgeous building. What a pleasure to be there. Great time, great people. Certainly had a wonderful time, and... Um, Thanks to our terrific crew here. I've never seen so many people. You know, I've got uh, some things I'd like to say about our crew here. Yeah, They're what very, would you like to say? Very good people. And uh, I... Oh. <laughs> Hello, Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> this is Jeff Hoske sitting in for Dick Hitswater, who was sitting in for and the horse you rode in on. <laughs> and this is a Some Other News special news report. Oh, good. Right. Huh. As you know, a Utah jury found that actress Gwyneth Paltrow was not to blame for a 2016 collision with a retired up <laughs> on the slopes of an upscale ski resort. Testimony in the trial had to be halted briefly on Tuesday when the Willow actress required medical attention in the courtroom after complaining of abdominal discomfort and bloating. Oh, oh. Apparently, the stress of the trial was taking a toll because, according to witnesses, during the lunch break, Miss Paltrow was spotted consuming an entire grape. <laughs> That's right. Paramedics arrived quickly and administered fluids and applied a microderm instant glow exfoliator that they had purchased from Miss Paltrow's online lifestyle site known as Goop. <laughs> then, as advertised on the Goop website, a jade egg was inserted into Miss Paltrow's front naughty. <laughs> Finally, the trial was allowed to continue at a post-verdict press conference. Utah's Surgeon General stated that in time, the ethereal Miss Paltrow will be able to pass the grape as nature intended, so not to fret. <laughs> Authorities recommended a Himalayan pink salt Bath detox soak followed by an internal application of Goop's rectal release crystal infused desensitizing cream known as Slaughterhouse Six. <laughs> this has been Jeff Oscar sitting in for Dick Hitswater, who was sitting in for and the horse you rode in on. And this has been a Some Other News special report. All Thank right. You. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Best man. Hope she gets well. Yeah, Slaughterhouse Six. Oh, dear God. Uh, get rid of that grape, Gwyneth. Uh, Christy Lee is at her post right over there at the Bob and Tom News Desk. What have we missed? Well, visitors are reportedly flocking to see Michelangelo's David sculpture in Florence, Italy, after a Florida principal was forced to resign over complaints about a lesson featuring the naked Renaissance masterpiece. Florence's Galleria della Academia, which houses the nude sculpture, reopened Tuesday after its weekly Monday closure, with both tourists and locals eager to see the statue. Hmm. Visitors could not get over the controversy stemming from the Tallahassee Classical School Board's decision to pressure Principal Hope Carasquella to resign last week after an image of David was shown to a sixth grade art class. Wow. 
Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, mm. I mean, first of all, if you, you've seen the, the the famous statue. Sure. It's not pornographic. It's not like like it's erect, David. I mean, it's just him and just a uh, naked. Well, you can never see the back of that statue. He had a nice butt. You like David's right? butt? Yeah. Can't you walk around back? I yeah, can't you remember. can, but you, nobody ever shows those mm. pictures. <laughs> I can't imagine there's probably a probably a, a, a group that yeah probably has a weekly discussion about that. David's really ass. Does. He really has a nice uh, yeah. little bottom. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, this Some is college in Michigan also has said we're not going to be associated with that school anymore. They used to be part um, Hillsboro. Is it Hillsboro Community Christian College or whatever? Hmm. But um, yeah, that's been quite a controversy. Sixth grade students in a classical art class. And they can't see the classics. It's, Baffling. Yeah. yeah. There's the there is the aroused version of that. Oh, there oh, is. I haven't seen that. The one. Italian street artist Wanksy. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> Wanksy. Wanksy. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you like wank. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Amsterdam is asking wild young male tourists from Britain to stay away from their city. What are those guys, what are those young Brits up to? Well, the capital of the Netherlands, Josh, Josh has launched a new online campaign to tackle so-called nuisance, nuisance tourism, targeting visitors between the ages of 18 and 35. According to CNN, uh, British tourists search online for terms such as stag party Amsterdam, cheap hotel Amsterdam, or pub crawl Amsterdam. A video advertisement is going to appear that warns of the consequences of drinking too much, taking drugs, or causing trouble through antisocial behavior. Hey, Amsterdam, you, you know you're Amsterdam, right? <laughs> You mean the famous red light district? <laughs> yeah. And the pot capital of the world? And Pot cafes. Visitors will remain welcome, they say, but not if they misbehave and cause a nuisance. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you where you paid that hooker to split you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice little saying. Yeah. <laughs> also a, a very slug. narrow group of men, I think. <laughs> wasn't hey, well, me. How much to split me? Uh, okay. <laughs> um, maybe Vegas can recruit them. I don't think Vegas has a problem recruiting. I mean, I think they, yeah. Yeah, they do a good job. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, a man has been indicted for tampering with a restaurant's conveyor belt sushi in hey, Japan. Hey, Josh, did yeah. you hear they were... They, caught, they were caught tampering. <laughs> yeah. What? But I don't Funny. say that. Well, you, well, you can no, play it back. No, no, no. Marking the first known case against a participant in the recent wave of pranks being called sushi terrorism. What are they doing? Ryogo Yoshino, 21, was among the first individuals arrested for hopping on this viral trend. Sushi tourism has forced sushi restaurants to suspend their conveyor belts, con uh, con uh, conduct disinfection protocols, install AI-powered security cameras, and explore legal measures against the perps. Apparently, they're jumping on the conveyor belts. I'm, you know, and riding them? I guess. You know, there's been a whole bunch of... This story first surfaced a few weeks ago. I saw it for the first time. Um, the, the, all kinds of... Uh, doing all kinds of stuff, tampering with the sushi. Yeah, can we go easy with the word terrorism here? Yeah. <laughs> Let's relax a little bit. They're screwing with the conveyor belts. Yeah. They're hoodlums. I yes. mean, sushi, uh, first of all, I'm a sushi fan, but it's it's very awkward because sushi is the one thing that forced white people to use the word nigiri. Very problematic. Uh, I prefer the salmon myself. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> you Pat, get the, uh, you, Pat, you got any thoughts? Yeah, your, I got a song. He's your best sushi. friend. You, you, Pat has a song. song. I like How the about uh, Wasabi Bugatti? Yes, please. go ahead. How about Gwyneth Paltrow? <laughs> yeah. Famous for the candle that smelled like what? Remember? Her vagina. Yeah. Her thing. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Gwyneth P. We locked you in Shakespeare in love. Now you've managed to ruin. <laughs> the beauty we are so fond of Because you started Goop You stupid little magazine You sell a candle With the aroma of Gucci steamed <laughs> oh, But it smells to me Like a sardine-scented Candle-breaking wind Look up in the sky And see the seagulls circling Oh, you know I even bought one 
Oh, and there it sits. Your candle burned out days ago, and it still smells like Brad Pitt. Whoa. Well, that's what I was looking for. But yeah. Shaving oh. cream. <laughs> Shaving cream. No, no, no. Brad Pitt. Very nice. It's a Brad Pitt, you see. This is, it smells bad. Uh, <laughs> that was, was a long time ago, yeah. Lover. Uh, there's, uh, they liked each other. We liked it, Pat. Don't look so down. Yeah. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> that was an awkward it. moment to set up and to set up. Oh yes, and uh, I don't think we're over with the awkward no. moment because <laughs> will they all will uh, ask to come into a room? <laughs> it's yeah. perfectly valid. Correspond on the menu. I think we all know. Let's it. not go back uh, to it. What else, Christy? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Coming up, we have smart <laughs> leggings because this is something we've Aren't all needed. Aren't you tired of stupid leggings? Yeah. I Dumb as all get out. Oh Lord. We have a cow trapped on a tennis court. We have a baby born in a parking lot at a Costco. Wow. wow. Wouldn't it be great if it was all in the same area? <laughs> the cow, the baby, the smart. No, sorry, and... it's not. And we have that cosmic concrete coming up. Cosmic concrete. That sounds like Dairy Queen's newest item. That sounds oh. delicious. Um, you want to hear more about the, uh, no, the sushi no. terrorism? No, no, no yeah, time. yeah, let's do it. They're playing. Yeah, we're going down. We're going down big, baby. <laughs> Apparently, they have revolving sushi restaurants where yeah. the sushi is coming around. Yes. Yeah, a, almost a, all of them do that yeah. in Japan. And um, they're they have videos of people licking the communal soy bottle. Oh. Um, uh, licking their fingers, touching the sushi, and putting it back on the conveyor. But it seems like kind of you know minor petty stuff. But it's of course now that this is a trend with TikTok, et cetera, et cetera. It's it has become problematic. Ah. Give, me the, give me the teaser, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> Again? Just, just, yes. <laughs> okay. Coming up, we have if you're going to be building on Mars, you're going to need some cosmic concrete. Right? Well, cosmic concrete. And that sounds like the finest Dairy Queen newest. <laughs> <laughs> we have a tiger. I've heard of cosmic bowling. <laughs> We have a tiger stolen from a home in Mexico. What? What? A tiger was stolen from a home in Mexico. <laughs> Boy, I, I, <laughs> oh, what about business they're in? You want to? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Who would own a tiger? And the guts to take it. No joke. You right? know what you hey, should start kidding. doing is having dinner at home. That's what you need to start doing. Then That's you, where Hello Fresh then comes steal in. Steal your tiger because you'd be there. Exactly. Uh, right. yeah. uh, with uh, with spring here, it's time to uh, get your taste buds. Give them a break. Give them some great food. Hello Fresh. They do the shopping for you. They send you the ingredients. Uh, they're already measured and ready to rock. And I'm talking about great fresh food because uh, with the cost of groceries going up, this is the perfect time to get into HelloFresh because it's cheaper than groceries because they buy in bulk and 25% cheaper than takeout. Pre-portioned ingredients, you put them together every week, more than 40 recipes. Some of them cook up in just uh, 10 minutes. See what I'm talking about? Things like the one-pot pork and bean black chili. Or the um, creamy Dijon dill chicken, 30 grams or more of protein. Delicious dietitian win recipes, each under 700 calories made with less sodium. Or classic comfort food. Every week, more than 40 recipes from HelloFresh. 60% off, plus free shipping with the code BTSHOW60. That's HelloFresh.com slash BTSHOW60. BTSHOW60. HelloFresh.com. The code BTSHOW60. Sixty. We are coming back with Cosmic Concrete. Didn't they open for uh, the Talking Heads? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom, 24/7, 24/7. Josh, what's wrong? My back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I, I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. See All you right. later, buddy. Give it a... Oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See you later. 
<laughs> Orange insoles feel better do more. Park in center field. Judge hit a thigh high cutter on the outside part of the plate for a 109 mile per hour drive in his first opening day home run. Judge hit an American League record 62 home runs last year, one more than Roger Maris's total with the 1961 Yankees. And of course, with his home run yesterday, Aaron Judge on pace to hit 162 home runs this season. Oh, that'll be fun to watch. Quick note in the NBA Jason Tatum scored 40 points, Jalen Brown added 30. And the Boston Celtics steamrolled the NBA leading Milwaukee Bucks 140 to 99. Wow, the Pacers must have tired them out in their loss the uh, previous uh, night. At any rate, that's a look at your sports headlines. If you really want to know about sports, listen to Chick McGee at the orangeinsoles.com sports desk. That's what I do every morning. And you're listening to Bob and Tom 24 7. We got some extra from the Bob and Tom Show. With us in the studio, comedian uh, John Garrett. You have a straight job? I mean, like a normal day-to-day -day thing? Yeah, I actually do. I'm actually a CPA, believe it or not. Ah, yeah, and um, that spells party. Yeah, it does. Most people find it think uh, CPAs are hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, we're dorks. Uh, big dorks. But... Uh, <laughs> Uh, and honestly, on behalf of all accounts out there, I'd like to say that we don't all do taxes. Some of us prefer to embezzle. <laughs> <laughs> it's much more lucrative. <laughs> I read recently uh, Willie Nelson wrote a song called Whatever Happened to Peace on Earth mm -hmm. as his little protest to the war in Iraq. Mm -hmm. And my immediate thought was, why does he care? It's not like it's his tax dollar being put to use. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think the U.S. US government should write a song called Whatever Happened to Willie's 1040. <laughs> There's <laughs> a tax joke for the accountants. <laughs> Hi, this is Bob and Tom 24 7. My name is Jim Gaffigan. I have to go and, well, I just had a hi part. So you know where I'm going. Good, good morning to you. <laughs> if sports is your thing, then you need to order Magic Johnson Sports Cash Take. My way. <laughs> You'll learn to butcher grammar like it's a dead cow. Sometimes Charles do things and and he does them for himself. See, what the fans should understand here is that Phoenix don't like to really set up half court. <laughs> Magic insights will teach you how to lose your train of thought in the middle of a sentence. You know, he's amazing. Every time he does something crazy or, 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 or something... Nobody can abruptly switch to a completely different thought, like the magic man. He's one of the best. If he get his feet set, hey, look out. He, and, and then, also, he's having a good game. He had a good first game. Now. <laughs> Contradictory thoughts in the same sentence? Like magic. Kevin stumbled because his leg gave out on him, in a sense. And uh, so it's not 100% that leg, but uh, he's doing, you know, he's playing really well. He, he's not like he's favoring it at all. Magic. <laughs> Angler. Dan Marley is continually, continually to help off of Byron Scott. To get Magic Johnson sports casting my way, call 1-800. Oh, get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, guy, it's Kid Tarmac. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Kid Tarmac. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Right? <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. Hey, this is comedian Ron White, and you're listening to... 
welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. Hey, there's Josh Arnold. Hi. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Willie Griswold on assignment. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Hello, Tom. Hello, Chick. It's good to see you. See you, sir. Big weekend ahead. Lots of uh, great basketball. The men and the women's college basketball tournaments continuing this weekend. Who does uh, 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 Caitlin play for? You You guys were saying she's uh, Iowa. must be seen. Iowa. Okay. Yeah, it's like Pete Maravich-esque uh, uh, form on the court. I will fun, be sure to fun watch. Stuff, fun stuff. Now, um... We have uh, uh, some stuff coming our way from Christy Lee. I think that right now, however, it's time yeah. for a, a palate cleanser. I, I blame myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's part of the road to healing. Cruise that sex from the deep voice. Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. I think you'll all agree with me. Of all the inventions the past 100 years, the dry erase board has to be the most remarkable. <laughs> it's able to be remarked on, chicks. Ah. Therefore, remarkable. <laughs> Dry erase board joke. Not a lot of those out there. No. Not you at could all. even you could even draw that joke on a dry erase board. <laughs> yes, that's, that's, that's really meta, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, when when you were a little kid, Josh, I mean, I, I grew up in the era where uh, they're black and white photos. The first couple of years in elementary school, then it shifted to color. Okay. But then I we still had blackboards, chalkboards, whatever yep. you want to call them. Same here mm -hmm. until um, junior high, high school, somewhere around there. Really? Yeah. 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 Remember the? Did you ever have the overhead projector? Absolutely. Sure. Yep. And you, uh, you, you. Those were also remarkable. The those uh, translucent. Yeah, that you would wipe them off. Yeah, and, Man, what yeah. they call those things? I forget. But uh, that's still a thing. I don't know. Either. And that was always a reward to either yep. go out and clap the erasers, clean the chalkboard, or to clean those sheets. Yeah, those clear sheets for the uh, overhead projector. Mm -hmm. huh. For us, the big reward was uh, to open and close the guillotine windows, oh. the giant up and down windows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, with a stick. There was a stick yeah. with this sort of flange. Yes, on it. to get them that high. And you'd stick it in this hole and jiggle it around, and then shove them up. <laughs> Did you guys have the music teacher that had the the chalk? It had like five mm -hmm. chalks on it, and then when to you wrote this. it across the yeah. board, it would make yeah. the, me yeah. the measures mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was that was that was fun. Uh, now uh, we have uh, Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News Desk. I will remind you quickly that uh, today's your last day to get those entries in to win that forty-five Tundra Yeti King Crab Orange Cooler and the beautiful Bob and Tom logoed dual Papa Shot game for your living room. BobandTom.com slash contest. Christy, what do you got? Researchers in Switzerland have created so-called smart leggings that tell you when it's time to take a break from working out. Hmm. When integrated into sportswear, the material can predict the wearer's exhaustion level during physical exertion. <laughs> this is unnecessary. And can alert <laughs> yes. a special smartphone app through an antenna sewn an directly app? into the clothing. Stop with the apps. <laughs> you don't need an app to do you you know when you're being you're getting exhausted, right? Well, uh, the reverse of this would be if you can't get your sweatpants on because you're too fat. Maybe it's time to start exercise. Ah. The textile, yes. <laughs> but that also doesn't require a nap. That's yeah, <laughs> the textile aims to prevent injuries caused by exhaustion so, when exercising BS. or performing physical tasks. Oh, jeez, you're really mad about this? No, it's a, it, it, unnecessary. It's like everybody has to be on Twitter and. You know, Oh, I got my new tweet from Exxon, whatever. Not everything has to be out oh, there. Listen to your body. We're forgetting how to live in certain <laughs> ways. Yeah. And yeah, maybe it's time to stop exercising when your sweatpants stink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you need to be honest. And You hate sweatpants. You won't wear them. I don't wear sweatpants. No. You say they're failures. I just don't like them. I don't know, the baggy stuff falls out of the pockets in the back. But we're talking about leggings. So right, I right. You like lady in leggings. Sure, I yoga like yoga pants. pants. That's fine. I'm just saying, does everything have to suddenly be part of your smartphone? No. I don't. I can't imagine that this no, will Oh, I'm going to have to change my underwear. How do you know? Um, yeah, well, I'm sitting in a load of diarrhea, and my phone just went off to tell me so. I mean, there are things you don't need a smartphone <laughs> for. be mildly aware of uh, yeah. your, how yeah, you're I'm, feeling. God. Hmm. <laughs> It, I mean, Not many are going to use that. It's no. stupid. It's pointless. Yeah. I don't know that it will. Sorry. Maybe it will never even hit the market. Who knows? It's <laughs> just been developed. Right, right. right. Speaking uh, of which, 
Scientists at the University of Manchester are working on building materials for future extraterrestrial buildings. That's right. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Using potato starch and simulated extraterrestrial dust. Oh, don't mess with extraterrestrial they, dust. Wait a minute. Simulated. So it's fake extraterrestrial oh, yeah. dust. I know, but what's going to happen is uh, aliens are going to know that we're making their Earth's, Earth materials now and uh, bomb us. <laughs> <laughs> I might be a doomsday or I think, I think you might be. Yeah. They have recently developed a so-called cosmic concrete called Starcrete. That was created with stimulated, stimulated. Star Creek, nothing <laughs> but Star Creek. It was created with simulated Mars dust. See, right there, I've got a problem with this right there. <clears throat> simulated Mars dust, what the hell's that? A David Bowie cover band? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I like that very much. A foreman played guitar. <laughs> That's done. <laughs> Spiders. The key to Star Creek strength is using potato starch as a binding agent. Really? Right there, that's a little weird. Although... I find cheese to be a binding agent, you know yeah. what I mean? Well, what's, the, what's the movie? Was it The Martian, where the guy is living, yes. is living on space? And Matt Damon. Mars Matt Damon, he grew potatoes. And, and didn't he have to use, um, yes. like, a poopy uh, His own, uh, space Play-Doh to make the concrete? <laughs> <Poopy>. <laughs> Whatever that was. <laughs> poopy space Play-Doh. The yeah. research team had previously used astronauts' blood and urine as a binding agent. Really? But potato starch proved to be stronger, more feasible in space. <laughs> and, and allowed the cost. astronauts to live. <laughs> and more cost effective. Okay. Blood, what was it? You said they used blood and urine? <laughs> Uh, yes. Boys. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's like the worst version of the three little pigs ever. <laughs> well, his house is made of blood. His house is made of piss. <laughs> Mom, can you tell I, us a different story? Can we uh. use, go to the house made of potatoes? <laughs> stay away from the big bad space wolf? Tom, uh, apologies. Uh, Christy, I just accidentally I distracted know. her by yeah. handing her a big photo of David's butt. Oh, the <laughs> statue of Michelangelo's oh, David. Geez. She confessed that she's a big fan of David's. I am a big end. fan. Uh, Oh, I know yeah. a good butt. That's a, that's a it's good butt. Isn't that a nice butt? It's a, a, a nice very nice, very nice, nice sculpted. Well, uh, Josh and I are, uh, appreciate the, the butt. Uh, we are the butt buddy. You know it's time for it right now, Josh? <laughs> it's what's uh, that? What time is it now? It's time for a plug for your show. So Oof. this is technically a butt plug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Josh tonight, <laughs> along oh, with you, Kostaki. You work hard. You're the hardest working man in show business. I can get there. That's my motto. <laughs> I'll get there somehow. Uh, it's Josh Arnold, Kostaki Konimopoulos, along with Pat Godwin, the man, the guitar, at the Dow Event Center, Saginaw, Michigan tonight. That is a huge show. That will be three headliners. That's going to be an awesome show. And uh, NFL fans, Kostaki will make fun of your favorite football team, no matter who it is. Yeah, he will. If he doesn't shout out the name of the team, and he'll find a way. Um, it's going to be a killer show. By the way, I should point out, Josh will be um, in, uh, let's see, you're going to be in Dubuque on Saturday night. Yes, sir. At the Diamond Joe Casino, Mr. Godwin will be in Illinois at Mason City Limits on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. But tonight, the big show in Saginaw. That'll be great. Um, so, I'm sorry. Space Concrete. I, I, right at the beginning of the story, I'm skeptical. They say, what is it? Simulated Mar Simulated Martian dust. Extraterrestrial dust. dust, yeah. yeah. I don't know what they use for that. What? Uh, the stuff left over in a bag of <laughs> Reese's Pieces. <laughs> it's Reese's, you hill jack. But yes. Uh, <laughs> but yes, we all know extraterrestrials we just, we love. Soft, Pat, we could address It's Reese's, you hill jack. <laughs> uh, I like that. <laughs> My name is John. No, it's Reese's. It's Reese's. Pieces. Reese Cup. No, it Reese is. Pieces. Reese Peasy. Yeah. <laughs> One of the greatest stories in the history of product placement. Absolutely. Uh, and said no. When Eminem said, yeah, yeah, good luck with that movie. Uh. <laughs> and then, uh, was it uh, the form, the George Foreman grill? Wasn't he the third guy they approached? Apparently. The first two said, no, thank you. Ooh. Hulk Hogan claims he did not actually say no, thank you, but uh, uh, they say he did. So Okay, yeah. well, uh, now, uh, Christy Lee remains at Brother. her post. Cup the, Noodles is introducing something new. What is it? Cup noodles. Cup of noodles. Yeah. Cup of hot water in it. I don't think they have the cup uh anymore. I think it's just cup noodles. They don't say they're not called cup of noodles? I don't yeah. think so. Too many people well, thought that's... they were Irish. Well now I'm <laughs> well now I'm outraged. A cup of noodles. Uh they're now introducing a breakfast ramen flavor. Finally. 
It's just <laughs> who was clamoring for it's this? It's just it's a cup of salt. Have you seen the uh, high, relatively high in sodium? <laughs> have you seen just crack an egg? I thought I've, I'm I'm curious. About yeah, that. that is not bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just, you've tried it. You yes. Pop, pop an egg in there, and uh, you're off to off you go. Right. Yeah. Nissan Foods USA, which owns Cup Noodles, said the new item blends ramen with popular breakfast flavors, including Lucky Charms. <laughs> <laughs> They're not far off. Pancakes, maple syrup, sausage, and eggs. Oh, a limited edition flavor is currently available exclusively at Walmart. I had the pumpkin spice ramen. Yeah? I did try that. I, I did not care for it, and I love ramen and pumpkin spice. But together, bad, bad fellows. Mm. Uh, so this is going to taste like breakfast, but it's noodles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ace, you, you're, you love the ramen. I'm in. Oh, okay. All right. Do they have pizza ramen? Well, yeah, you have pizza ramen. You just take your ramen noodles, put it on a crust, boom, there you go. Off you go. Pizza. I, did, I did see ramen pizza. Pizza ramen, sure you did. Of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> ramen pizza, how did that work? I don't, I don't know. I just saw it online. You know, ramen and I, I, uh, <clears throat> I taught uh, English in South Korea yeah? for two years. Mm -hmm. uh, not her name. <clears throat> worldly uh, man mm -hmm. helping yeah. uh, educate uh, those who. And so um, uh, ramen is often eaten dry. They just open up the packet and sprinkle it over the brick. And then you just crunch on it, and it's not bad. Really? Yeah, uh, yeah it really is. It, it, wow. it, yeah, it's not bad. Same mm. flavor, everything. You just okay. do it without that pesky water. <laughs> water that makes it delicious. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Have it, I don't know. I, I know it's a free country and everything, but it's, this is like the Oreo thing where... <laughs> He's so upset it's a free country. <laughs> Did you see that? Well, I know it's a free it's, country. Clearly it's not yeah. working. I um, no, know. I... You know what I'm saying? Like, like Oreo comes out with yeah, they lose you know, their salsa mind. Oreos or whatever. It's like, come on, some of this stuff. This are these ice cream flavors. <laughs> yes. I mean, do we really need it? <laughs> hey, no. it tastes, this this new ice cream tastes like Pratt and Lambert <laughs> paint. What? <laughs> oh yeah, there's a big big demand for it. Pratt and Lambert is the paint. Oh. Um, what, what do you, that, that's the name that he goes to, not like Sherwin Williams. Okay, that's a, that's a paint brand. Oh, wow. Is that that's a paint brand? brand? Yes. Excellent, excellent paint. I What's bear, it called? I, I'm Pratt barely aware of it. Oh. Pratt and Pratt Lambert. Lambert. Oh, it's the Rolls Royce of paint. Not Porter Paints, not Sherwin Williams. No, all not... very fine products. I appreciate you teaching me about a paint brand I didn't know I didn't know about, about it either. You're welcome. Well. Not Glidden. <laughs> Glidden, that's a good one. A <laughs> Dutch boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That would have worked. No, no, Pratt and Lambert. <laughs> Kennedy, uh, Kennedy used Pratt and Lambert paint. Ah. I don't know if you know like somebody at the Pratt and Lambert warehouse just lifted their head hey. up. Going, oh, I, I hear a name. I got a hit. I've never heard it before. Is it Butt Boy? <laughs> butt Boy. <laughs> butt Boy paint. <laughs> so I'm sorry. So this is once again. This is the cup. Uh, it's not cup of noodles anymore. Cup of noodles. Cup noodles. Cup noodles. Cup noodles don't make no sense. It doesn't. Cup noodles. Didn't they change it, or am I making that up? I don't, I don't know. You often just lie. Is this, no, I so do. this is this is, this is <laughs> nope, going to be like a breakfast noodle. version. Yeah. So it tastes like pancakes and bacon and sausage. How weird. Do well, have, what do I know? Maybe it's delicious. Do though. they have? Do they have? Uh, we could try it on the air tomorrow or next week, rather. <laughs> you think? No, no. Tomorrow's fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll. Uh, we'll uh, <laughs> you could be in. I don't think I'm coming in tomorrow, but um, <laughs> you even sit down. All right. Here's, well, here's, well, see, here's a picture well, of it. They, oh, it's like Rice Krispies. They've got the three little elves. Oh yeah. Yeah. Slurp, gurgle, and sip. <laughs> <laughs> looks looks delicious. I did not hate slurp <laughs> That was a fun I, 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 Again, I know we're supposed to be open up to everything in this society, but but isn't this like this is cup noodles? On uh, they're just advertising cup noodles by coming out with this. Sure, of course they are. Yeah. We're talking about them, right. Okay, right. and this is not Nissan, the car company. No, it's Nissan. <laughs> Nissan. Nissan. Oh, I'll be Nissan. This. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we try it on the air. <laughs> you see, it's I will hit the Walmart on the way home. Okay. Are you going to pick some up? Yeah, they, they right. have it. Okay, mm. we'll pick up a whole bunch of it so we can try it, will you? Mm -hmm. Cup noodles. He's going to need some money. He's going to have that a check. <laughs> <save. laughs> okay, talk check to Amy. I'm, uh, I'm fresh out. <laughs> oh, 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 boy, I sure hope she embezzles from you. Yeah, Don't you guys? I do. <laughs> She's I earned really it. There's nothing yeah. she puts up with. <laughs> she has earned it. Oh, you guys man. all cash your gas money check? Okay. I didn't get a gas money get check. I better get aces. I drove him. <laughs> and that's a whole other you know, gas money, I'll be... Uh, <laughs> you know, I, none of us heard any wait, stories wait, about that. I, I did not know this. You yeah. didn't? Oh, yeah. yeah. You drove with Ace? Sure. Yeah, I've drove. driven with Ace. No, he drove. No. Yeah, I drove and he... It he, doesn't count if it, it didn't happen this century, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we listened to some cool jams. 
Oh, yeah, a lot of uh, 90s and 2000s uh, active rock. Really? <laughs> Fine. Yes. Yeah, sadly, most of the artists are no longer active. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it in movies. I've seen it in TV shows. But I, for the first time in person, I saw people roadside picking up trash with the sticks. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, I saw that. Oh, I saw uh, yeah, that, that, I've never I believe. seen that before. Cleanest I, highway ever. Yeah. They did a really nice job. Yeah, they are those, did. Um, are those uh, folks I, that are working off some... Might uh, be. Yeah, it's community it's service. Community service. Community service. service. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, hey, I like to roll down my window and go, I'm free to do whatever I want. Oh. I don't have to drive a moped, loser. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> you know that, hey, dummy. You know, that reminds me. It's time oh. for the Shoe of the Week, brought to you by OrangeInsoles.com. Yeah. Free shipping site-wide, plus receive an additional saving code only when you sign up for text messages. Go to orangeinsoles.com. It's Final Four weekend tonight. The ladies go at it. Uh, LSU and Virginia Tech and South Carolina and Iowa. And then the men uh, the men go tomorrow night. Oh, there they are. Uh, San Diego State and Florida Atlantic and UConn and U University of Miami. Let's go to the ladies' side first. I like Iowa plus the 12 against South, South Carolina, the second game tonight from Dallas. In the first game, I like LSU minus the 2 against Virginia Tech. The men's side, I like UConn minus the 5.5 against Miami. And then I like San Diego State minus the 3 against Florida Atlantic. This has been the Shoe of the Week, a special presentation brought to you by OrangeInsoles.com. The NCAA Final Four. Be sure and go to OrangeInsoles.com and see what you can win and have a have a great time. All right. All right. right. Well, yeah, check out BobandTom.com slash contest and find out about that cool King Crab 45 Yeti cooler you could win and the beautiful Bob and Tom logoed home dual Papa Shot game. Thank you, Papa Shot. It's very, very cool. Yeah, Christy, be sure to watch the... Uh, the ladies basketball they've got some great great stuff now okay um a couple quick things um i got a letter here uh from uh, kalamazoo huh. michigan oh i got a gal there do you oh that's mm -hmm. nice uh again with that uh, dear <laughs> ace my favorite part of the show is the acjotd I didn't know that there was an abbreviation. Oh, how about there's that? A, the Ace Cosby joke. There's fan yes. clubs out there. Yeah. 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 Uh, every morning I hear it and rush to retell it to the gents at work. They oh. hate me. <laughs> <laughs> I got fired yesterday. Oh, boy. Um, well, I, I don't want to meet that uh, guy. And then the, uh, this, uh, Benjamin goes on to say that uh, how much he enjoys it. Ben hey. from Kalamazoo is a good dude. I know him. Yeah, here comes well, Benny. Benny the, him, here comes Benny the boob. Let's hear it, Benny. <laughs> uh, thank you. He, uh, now, uh, right now, I want to do a quick quiz. We'll begin with Christy Lee. As usual, your sleep number setting is what? 40. What does that mean? That means it's the softer side of the bed. Because Chick would be... 100. I like the firmer side of the bed, Tom. Mm -hmm. So when you go to buy a mattress, you walk into the mattress store and you're lying down. It's a little awkward. You're staring up at lights going, uh, I guess this, this is okay. Then you get home and go, Ugh. I don't like this. Well, the beauty of the Sleep Number bed, it's such a simple idea and so perfectly executed by the folks at Sleep Number. You press a button and adjust the firmness of the mattress. It's that simple. Eight out of ten couples prefer a different mattress firmness. This solves that problem. And even if you're just by yourself, when you get home, you might not feel the way you felt at 2 o'clock on a Thursday afternoon at the mattress store. The Sleep Number solution is so perfect. Find out more because they also have adjustable bases. They have special things involving the, your temperature as you sleep. They've done the homework. Proven quality sleep is the answer, and Sleep Number is also part of that answer. Your best every day? Well, to be at your best, you need to have your best night of sleep. Proven quality sleep. And if you're paying attention, this is important because this is Sleep Number's lowest price ever. We're not waiting for Washington's birthday or any of that stuff. Right now, save $1,200 on the Sleep Number 360 i10 Smart Bed. Plus, special financing is available for a limited time. Subject to credit approval, the details are all posted and f can be found, of course, in person at your Sleep Number store. To find that store, sleepnumber.com slash BT Show. I love my Sleep Number bed. Sleepnumber.com slash BT Show. Coming up, uh, can't play tennis right now. There's a... There's a cow in the tennis court. And, oh, hey, look at this. That's a baby being born in the parking lot. Aww. We're going to find out who and where. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. I had a moment where uh, my girlfriend thought she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if you know, ladies, if you're uh, if you suspect that you're pregnant, 
tell the guy during the day, don't wait until you're about to go to sleep. No. You know, because that's what she did. She's like, I have a cramp. I'm like, oh, I might be pregnant. Good night. Huh? I'm like, no. Good night. I don't think so. I go, well, well let's find out. Well, what are you going to do? So I, you know, hauled butt to Walmart. Yep. And uh, got, a test. got myself yeah. a little test. Doctor yeah, in a box. Sick. Yeah, two, I know. Two o'clock in the morning. And of all the times to get recognized. You know, oh. I walk into Walmart in the night shift. <laughs> hey, fluffy. Yeah. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> what do you need? A miracle. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so, so, All right, here's some tickets to a Grateful Dead concert. <laughs> right? All right. <laughs> so I found the uh-huh. aisle where they sell the pregnancy test, and I realized something. Walmart has figured out the evolution of how life works, and yeah. they put it in aisle four. As soon as you turn the corner, you see condoms. Uh-huh. Then you see lubricant. The next to the lubricant, you see pregnancy tests. The next to that, you see pampers. Next to that, formula. Oh, and yeah. at the end of the aisle, they sell beer. (laughs) It's a full circle. And Tom. For your information, these are two of the worst kids I have ever encountered in my life, and I worked the state fair. We were stupid before stupid was cool. Coming up tonight, the Dow Event Center in Saginaw, Michigan. If you don't have your tickets, what are you waiting for? Let's go, Saginaw, tonight, March 31st, one night only. Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, and Kostaki Economopoulos. Three men, one stage, three men enter. Hopefully, all three will be able to leave because they've got to go places. Pat Godwin on Saturday night will be at the Mason City Limits in Mason City, Illinois. PatGodwin.com for more. And our friend Josh Arnold going to be at the Diamond Joe Casino. My gosh, Josh. Dubuque, Iowa, Saturday night, April 1st. That, JoshArnold.com for tickets and information. And if you happen to be up in New Jersey, Uncle Vinny's is the spot in Pleasant Point, New Jersey. Greg Warren on stage tonight and Saturday night, the 31st and April 1st. Again, Uncle Vinny's in Pleasant Point, New Jersey. GregWarrenComedy.com for details and more information. Or contact the club, Uncle Vinny's. Tell him you're his cousin. And you want free tickets. I doubt it'll happen, but you might try it. That's in Pleasant Point, New Jersey. And you are listening to Bob and Tom 24 7. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee with your Bob and Tom Entertainment News Update. Gwyneth Paltrow has won her court battle over that 2016 ski collision at a Utah ski resort after a jury decided the actor was not at fault for the crash. The verdict came Thursday in a packed courtroom in Park City, Utah. A jury dismissed the complaint of a retired optometrist who sued Paltrow over injuries he sustained when the two crashed on a beginner run at Deer Valley. A London judge will rule as soon as possible on whether to throw out or limit phone hacking lawsuits brought by Prince Harry, Elton John, and other well-known figures against a British tabloid publisher. The Duke of Sussex made a late arrival and early departure Thursday at the finale of a four-day high court hearing on his invasion of privacy case against the company that publishes the Daily Mail. The allegations stem from hiring private investigators to bug homes and cars and to record phone conversations. They deny allegations that they hired private investigators to bug homes and cars and to record phone conversations and is asking the court to dismiss the lawsuits. And a judge is scheduled to resolve a weapons-related charge against a co-defendant in the case against actor Alec Baldwin for the fatal 2021 movie set shooting of a cinematographer. Prosecutors have proposed a plea agreement with safety coordinator and assistant director David Halls regarding his involvement in the movie Rust. Halls pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor charge of negligent or unsafe use of a deadly weapon pending court review of the plea. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Here he is with his-
his joke of the day. We were talking about mermaids early in the show. Yeah. <laughs> you ever wonder why they wear those uh, seashells? No, why? why? They outgrew the bee shells. That was the joke of the day. So, a boobs. Do you? Do you? Is it me? And I'm sure it is. And if it's me, I apologize. But yeah. there seems to be a trend with this little wordplay posing as jokes. I'm creative. Do you find the trend to be troubling? Um, disturbing. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. You don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Here at the Bob and Tom Audio Institute, we catalog key pieces of audio for archival and historical purposes. <laughs> we continually research and examine significant pieces of audio to ensure their accuracy and validity. Today, we look at the first ever recording by Thomas Edison, where in 1877, he successfully recorded the following on a primitive wax cylinder. A little piece of practical poetry. Mary had a little lamb, its fleet was quite as slow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. The distinguished staff here at the Bob and Tom Audio Institute noticed the labeling method used by Mr. Thomas Edison. This famous piece of audio was labeled 05TE for Thomas Edison, 02. Knowing this format is the industry standard to this day, we here at the Institute theorize there must be a 05TE01. After years of research and investigation, we have uncovered the following audio cylinder. This is the very first ever recording. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Lord, I'm down. Pat Godwin in the performance Hi. room. Hey, chick. There's... I got the blues. You got some. Josh Arnold. Tom's got the blues. Uh, so I forgot There's to go. Ace Cosby. Uh, <laughs> you forgot to go potty? I got a pee. <laughs> Go. Well, I'm going Just to. Just go. We, I, we got I got this. a feeling I'm going to cut this break a little short. If you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, and here's Tom. Hello, Tom. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ever get this thing? You uh, just say you're driving back from somewhere yesterday, and you see <laughs> in the distance. Ah, yes, I can go there. They'll have a nice, clean facility. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I bet you get caught like that a lot. <laughs> I had a I had a Josh Arnold incident. What do you mean? Well, I got to the aforementioned facility. And uh, uh, how do you word it, Chick? The uh, launch codes had already been... <laughs> the staging had begun. Staging yes. had begun. Mm -hmm. The uh, lock on the door was broken. <laughs> oh. So... Uh, you had to sit there... No, I couldn't take a chance. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so you backed it out, huh? You guys are disgusting. Backed it in. <laughs> well. Where'd you go? Because I can't picture you at a rest stop. Uh, it was a uh, Starbucks. Of course it was. <laughs> Rare to have a broken lock in yeah. a Starbucks. Yeah. You do a good job yeah. with that. Uh, so, sorry. You can't go two hours without being? This was, this this was, was a major transaction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, yeah, it was rough. Yeah, mm, barely made it back. Uh, I'm glad uh, to hear that. <laughs> did you go home or here? No, uh, no, I found another. Oh, Sorry, okay, was, okay. Fortunately. Uh, now, uh, we have uh, Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News Desk. <laughs> yeah, Christy, of course, who never goes because she's a lady. No, no. no. Got a letter, Christy. Yes, sir. Uh, Christy Lee is so darn pretty, writes Brad. Oh. Is it too early to put in my bid to be number five? <laughs> Never, Brad. Never. Laura, thank you, guys Brad. are already nice. writing off number four. No, no. no, no. Why we should just... we even kinda, do it? Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Well, once again, Christy Lee engaged. If you haven't heard yet. <laughs> yeah. And, um, we got to give it. Maybe we should do that song, Pat. Would you like to do it right now? Why, sure. Well, what we the heck? Heard that much from what the heck? I'm trying to rest your voice because you've got a big show tonight in Saginaw, Michigan, at the Dow Event Center with Josh and Kostaki. It's going to be a killer show. So let's, I don't want to strain your voice right now, but do you feel okay? Yeah, I do. In case you haven't heard about Christy Lee, she's getting married to a guy, Andy. When he proposed, she said, "What the hell's one more?" Welcome to the family, Christie's husband number four. Her first three marriages just didn't stick. Christy was 0 for 3 and tied with Chick. <laughs> now he wants to date and even up the score. Who will win the title? Chick's ex-wife number four. 
<laughs> they say half of marriages will end in divorce. That number seems too low. I need to find out the source. Our show is nine for nine, including my two, of course. Even Tom and we all know he's hung like a horse. <laughs> Forget the odds. We wish you both the best. We know your love is going to pass the test. But just in case it doesn't and your marriage takes a dive, may we suggest Josh Arnold for your husband number five. Yeah. Your husband number five. We better seal this with a kiss. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Get up, room. So nice. Oh. <laughs> you know, we should have said yesterday since we were all at opening day. Yeah. Technically, your fiance is on deck. To keep the baseball analogy going, right? He's pretty much up to bat. He's so happy. <laughs> Very nice. so happy. Well, I mean, living in sin, are we? I, I, I didn't I was, know that. I was whoa, not going to go there. Whoa, whoa. Are you Fine. suggesting he's been to first, second, third? And, I'm not suggesting oh, anything. First girl thing. like yourself. Frisky little Crisky. Mm, yep. Frisky? Crisky. Be in that confessional over the weekend. Oh, what's new? Hey, wait a minute. What? Isn't uh, Lent winding down? Yeah, another week. Well, mm -hmm. Easter Sunday is a week from Sunday. Palm okay. Sunday is this Sunday and then Easter Sunday. Okay. So, uh, but we're having our Easter Sunday dinner this Sunday. On Palm Sunday. Well, I'll yes. alert the press. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Got a ham? I have a ham. I have a turkey. Early, both. early both. Easter. Are you cooking them? Uh no. Okay, so I was gonna I was gonna alert the the Zville. I'm holding. ER. I'm hosting, but I'm I've Not ordered cooking. out. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Honey ham baked ham does a fine. Ham product. and a turkey. Oh, the mm. honey baked ham. Yeah, honey baked ham. How many ham? people are you having over? About ten. How about eleven? Wow, honey, I've never <laughs> had that. Yeah, I've never had honey baked ham. Oh, it's delicious. Ace. Well, too bad I'm not here Monday. I would have brought you left. Why don't you invite Ace over for Easter and tell everybody he's your fiance? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or guess who's coming to dinner? Tell everybody that Ace is your uh, intended's father. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> That would be interesting. It's all good. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, what else have you got, Christy? Police in Mexico were searching for a tiger that was stolen from a home in Whoa. Hermosillo. Prosecutors in the state of Sonora said they're searching for a full-grown male Bengal tiger named Baluma, or Baluma. They said the owners had the proper paperwork needed to keep the animal. Well, I can imagine the paperwork <laughs> required in Mexico is probably a tortilla with an S burned into it. Oh. Uh, you know, oh. many, many ways to take that joke. Uh, I, I really doubt if, there's a, I doubt if there's a lot of, well, the S stands for C. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have distributed photos of the big cat resting in a cage alongside a dog. Oh. Hoping residents will phone police if they see the tiger. Man. Apparently this, well, I, I don't want to, I shouldn't go on. Well, I, mean, I know more about bad. the story than no. it's written. Oh. No. Well, I mean, first of all, <laughs> who's likely to own a tiger? Well, uh, not somebody cartels. you want to steal from. Yeah. Now, yeah. Drug cartels are known for owning exotic animals. And in Mexico, they are legal with the proper paperwork. But other drug cartels, yes. Other, it, it drug seems like yeah. other drug cartels are stealing from the other drug cartels is... Exotic animals now. Uh, oh, like yeah. fraternities? Yeah, kind of. And yeah, we got the mascot. Yeah, we got yeah. Luma. Hey, go look in the backyard. <laughs> yep, that's a hippo. <laughs> <laughs> yep, fished him out of a river. Wow. Yep. That is terrifying. Yes. Now, I have a really dumb question. So, this tiger is photographed with a dog? Yeah, in the same cage. And they get along? Yeah. For now. Yeah. Well, that... they're probably raised together. Yeah. Still. I mean, come on. Who knows? That tiger could be super protective. Yeah. <laughs> you know, dog. cheetahs and dogs are best friends. They have them in zoos together. A lot of what, them. Uh, really? Do the dogs calm them down? Yeah, apparently. They... they really get along. Huh. Yeah, the Columbus Zoo I know zoo goats a... and horses do well, but um, mm -hmm. I just, I'd be concerned that the tiger might flip out one day. Yeah, of go. course. Well, of course. Like they... in the cartoon where <laughs> the cartoon where the tiger looks over and sees a dog, hmm. then he looks away, then he looks over, and he, it says, oh, look, tiger chow. <laughs> 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 it's, it's in a bowl. I, uh, oh, wow. Well, yikes. Okay, well, um, someone stole a tiger. Yeah. Ooh. We're, oh, we're missing the obvious. What's, What's that? that? Probably a cat burglar. Uh, you know what? <laughs> we did miss the obvious. <laughs> we should have kept missing it. Is that what you're no, suggesting? No, no. Okay, I agree. I, 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 I'm so, so sorry. Uh, when we come back, uh, what do we have, Christy? Uh, when we come back, we have a cow trapped. We have an owl stuck. 
And we have somebody else stuck in handcuffs that had to have call 911. Oh, and a cool story about a baby yeah. born in a parking lot. Wow. They had to stop on the way to the hospital. Everything's okay, but it's a Good. cool story. And wait till you see whose parking lot it was. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got a comment or email is Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. More Bob and Tom next. State law. It's fun watching my, my kids, though, a little bit. My daughter is... Uh, it, you guys have daughters, right? Mm -hmm. Three no. years old. Three years old. My daughter has a massive attitude. Like, it's unbelievable. It's like, mm. my wife... W w and I've got to believe it's... Uh, honestly, and I'm not joking about this, hormonal in some <laughs> some way. They've got to be something... I, you know, something it's just that, that, uh, I, She's on. cute and adorable, mm -hmm. but pure evil. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Wow. It's like the it's like the devil dressed as a young Sally Field. Oh my God! I mean, it's very it's very difficult because my wife said uh, she says to my wife, "Can I go outside, mommy?" Mm -hmm. My daughter and my my wife goes, uh, "No, it's too it's too hot out. It's 110 mm -hmm. in Phoenix right now." The kids don't notice that. So she goes, uh, "Can I go outside?" And she goes, no. No. And my daughter looks at my wife directly in the eyes and goes, "Say." Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh. It's starting. And, and, and goes, then all oh. of a sudden, Mommy's eyes stared forward, and she said, yes. Yes. Mm hmm Oh, I just, it's, it's said, can I go outside? No. And then again, say, say yes. yes. <laughs> and she, she crosses the arms, and that now she will. That is evil. The best one was my wife got my daughter this princess puzzle, pink princess fairy puzzle, mm -hmm. obviously a fairy puzzle. And my my son looks at it and he goes, and that puzzle? That girl looks like a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <Whoa. laughs> Thank my, you. Good night, everybody. My wife like, says, like, the, my wife had like that Kermit turn. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. You know, she looks at me and I'm like, uh -huh. she's like, where did he get that from? Like, I don't know. I call uh -huh. them hookers. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> Bob and Tom 24 7. Hey, you still have a chance to win, even if your brackets are busted. Of course, the final four coming up this weekend in Houston, 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 Texas. That's right. Orangeinsoles.com giving you yet another shot to win. Bob and Tom fans, see that cooler behind Chick McGee on the YouTube channel? That's right. You could win that 45 Tundra Yeti King Crab Orange Cooler from Orangeinsoles.com. And you also get the Bob and Tom Home Dual Papa Shot game made especially for us. And we're giving Giving it away. That's right. You win both together. BobandTom.com slash contest to enter to win. Good luck from all of us here at the Bob and Tom Show. And a special thanks to our friends at OrangeInsoles.com. By the way, that Yeti cooler, not only beautiful to look at, it keeps things very cold. Put ice in it on Monday. There'll still be ice in it the following week. Is that true? I don't know. But that's what they say. It is a wonderful cooler. And you could win it. BobandTom.com slash contest. Orange, you're glad you have another shot to win. That's what it says. Orange, you're glad you have another shot to win. And you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Good morning, I'm Mark Allison with a look at things you may have missed. A London judge says he will rule as soon as possible on whether to throw out or limit a phone hacking lawsuit brought by Prince Harry, Elton John, and other well-known figures against a British tabloid publisher. The Duke of Sussex made a late arrival and early departure Thursday at the finale of a four-day high court hearing on his invasion of privacy case against the company that publishes the Daily Mail. Associated Newspapers Limited denies allegations that it hired private investigators to bug homes and cars and to record phone conversation and is asking a court to dismiss the lawsuits. U.S. authorities say they arrested a Washington state man who made more than 20 swatting calls around the country and in Canada, prompting real emergency responses to his fake reports of bombs, shootings, other threats. Ashton Connor Garcia, 20 years old of Bremerton, is accused of using voiceover Internet technology to conceal his identity as he placed the calls last year. Federal prosecutors say he treated them as entertainment, broadcasting them on the social media platform Discord. 
He faces felony counts that could bring up to a decade in prison. Court records did not immediately indicate if Garcia had an attorney who might speak on his behalf. And that's a look at things you may have missed. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Hey man, it's Donnie Baker, and the fact remains there's nothing better than being a VIP. And I don't mean like his dudes on Pervert Rabbit Xanadu's. I'm talking about a Bob and Tom VIP. Best thing, you'll never miss another minute of the show. I swear to God, you can hear the show here in the morning, and then cause you're a Bob and Tom VIP, you'll get the podcast of the entire show, a 12-month library of podcasts, hundreds of Bob and Tom comedy tapes, and a 60-day video archive of the show. Bob and Tom VIP, you have to get it. It's state law. Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. I can hear you, oh no. You're talking out your ass again. Bob and Tom 24-7. There's a new documentary out there entitled Sick. It's the winner of the Los Angeles Independent Film Festival Award. The film chronicles the life and times of super masochistic performance artist Bob Flanagan. In one scene... Flanagan is shown hammering a nail into, then removing it from his most private part, which would be his penis. Wow. (laughs) Boy, what if he misses and, like, hits his thumb? (laughs) (laughs) Well, then, that would hurt, Bob. Yeah, there's a bone in there. That's really going to hurt. That's going to hurt. (laughs) Hold on a second. Morning, Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom? Yes. Yeah. Bob Vila. <laughs> Bob Vila, the uh, Hiya, Bob. famed famed home repair host. How is how's it going, Bob? Uh, pretty good. Good. What can we do for you? Hey, you know, you guys are talking about something. It's pretty common. Uh huh. <laughs> a lot of the home repair guys do it. I do it all the time. You, What's actually, that? you actually take a nail and pound it into your penis on purpose? Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, really? do, you, do you use a nail gun or do you use a regular traditional hammer and nail? I'm not a conservative guy. Just use a nail. Okay. Oh, okay. In fact, I was at the hardware store the other day picking up a nail just for that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And, uh huh. And I uh, took it up to the counter. The guy goes, uh, "That'll be a dollar." I go, "Great." He goes, "That'll be a dollar four with tax." I go, "Tax? <laughs> Where I am? Kinky?" Tax <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> You don't say we didn't warn you. I'm warning you, don't do that. There's laughter ahead. I should be having a better time <laughs> if this is a party. This is Bob and Tom. Tw- Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hey, hey, hey. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Chris Wall. The boys are on the road. Yes, sir. Huge show tonight. Saginaw, Michigan, the Dow Event Center. It'll be Josh Arnold, Kostaki Economopolis, and uh, let's see. Oh, that's Mr. Pat Godwin on stage with a guitar. It's going to be a killer show. Three headliners. I'm excited to watch my buddies. Uh, it's going to be great. Too. Uh, also, uh, tomorrow night, Pat will be in Illinois at uh, Mason City for their 15th anniversary special. And Josh will be in Iowa. Dubuque is the place. Yes. And uh, you'll be at the Diamond Joe Casino. And Tom, this may be the last weekend I have my uh, merch, my can koozies. Oh, really? Running out? About done, and I don't know if I'm going to re-up, so uh, maybe don't even come if you're not interested in what I have to say, but you are interested (laughs) in having your beverages at the right temperature. Come out for the merch. Now, does the... uh, the, uh, Josh Arnold can koozie have a phrase of some three? There are three of them. Ones. Yeah, are they, are they witty? Do they? Are they all reference. I'm a half fat. Yeah, that, that's one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all reference a uh, part of my act, and, mm-hmm. uh, and you're not gonna you're not gonna renew them. We'll have to see. We'll have to. Maybe see. you should get something else. That's what I was kind of thinking about. So what, what, what I've been selling these for a couple years. A spoon, about, uh, perhaps like a spoon at Josh Arnold. A spoon. How about Did Letterman? You hear him? A spoon. I don't hate that idea, a honestly. Spoon? What about a pizza cutter? That's been That's that good. has not only been uh, suggested uh, by I think you one time. Oh, uh, but it can be done. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh. So how about a woolen leather uh, letter jacket? Yes, <laughs> with your face on the back. One hundred and eighty bucks. I would think, <laughs> I would think, I would think your right. cost per unit on a pizza cover <laughs> yeah. might be pretty steep. Uh, they weren't. Somebody sent me a whole thing about them. A monogram pizza. Yeah, 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 and it wasn't. They that, it wasn't these, too bad. Um, I don't know what's inside them, but uh, you put tortillas in them, put them in the microwave, and it heats them up. And sure. It, and so you could do that with like, uh, and they have those that, that are made for pizza slices too. <laughs> like a Maybe. sleeve, a food yeah, sleeve. Yeah, like a sleeve. You put in the microwave, and it heats them up, and it makes it a little crispy too. Somehow, mm, there's some sort of. Uh, that's sort of too practical to be a. Uh, 
typical merch item. But, you know, know, that stupid face you make when you're overly happy <laughs> makes people com uncomfortable, but they laugh anyway. That's it. You put that on the pizza. Your face on the pizza warmer. A pizza warmer. Oh. You're excited for pizza. Yellow sheets. Oh. Yellow sheets. Like you're... Oh. Like I've, I've peed. Peed Did you hear that, Tom? Hear the Ace's big idea? That's I was kind of thinking... Uh, oh, bed sheets. So yes. I, oh, I was thinking legal case? pad. So oh. bed sheets, Ace, he'd have to have... Having just uh, been dealing with beds, <laughs> you've got your California king, your king, your queen, your god, da, da. that'd be way too complicated. Yeah. Can I get the I'd yellow sheets in a queen? I'd kind of like to have my merch be reflective of it. Nope. Here's what you got to do, and it's going to sound extreme. What about a pillowcase with your face on it, and somebody could sleep on your face? <laughs> oh. <laughs> get out of comedy and open up. How about oh. a bar stool cover? So people uh, can uh, so we had no. that. No, this might, that sound, this might sound extreme. Get out of comedy and open up a nice uh, thrift store. Store. I <laughs> swear I'd love it. Yep. Yeah. Come on Bait in. Shop, right? Maybe. Like okay. in one of those Hallmark. Uh, just a, Call it half fat, a half boutique. Off. Half uh, fat, half off. I, 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 you know, <laughs> I might be trying to make some. Uh, uh, Look, you've given this comedy thing attitude a go. <laughs> you've given the comedy thing a go. It's obviously not going to take off. You just go back right into the thrift shop. Sure. <laughs> yes, right. Yes. Your dad died thinking you were a success. Yes. You're, you're done. Oh, my. Yes. <laughs> wow. There's no way he's going to find out. <laughs> he, thought, he thought I was a success. This is on my way to getting married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He was really at peace. Everything, everybody's cool. <laughs> Man, she's hot. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Dad. Oh. Uh, right. Man. That took a turn. Uh, it's a tough room. <laughs> <It's> a <laughs> hey, I give it out. No, I I, Josh, I mentioned the spoon thing, only trying to lead Christy into a story. Oh, see. okay. A spoon. Oh. What? You don't have the Dairy Queen spoon story? No. <laughs> well, it's probably on the printer. <laughs> you know, I've often, I've often wondered what you think you're doing in the real world and what you think you've taken care of in your head. <laughs> There's never been a better example of it. Maybe I have it over here. Maybe you do. Why don't you read it? Uh, let's see. Do you I want me find. to look on the printer? I can. He can rush out there real well, quick. Well, you said you were going to Arizona, right? I am going to Arizona. Well, uh, police in Phoenix, Arizona are searching. Oh, the stolen big spoon that yes. was from the Dairy Queen. I did see that. The giant red spoon. Mm -hmm. Maybe it wasn't stolen. Maybe it just ran away with a dish. <laughs> Oh, boy. See, that's why this thrift store thing looks <laughs> better and better Is that a day? satellite show? <laughs> no, the dish ran away, ran away with the spoon. It's an old uh, nursery. Hickory dickory, dickory, dickory dock. dock. The mouse ran up the, the clock. clock. It's a oh, clock the clock struck. God. The <laughs> dish ran <laughs> away with the spoon. I don't, I don't know, you... know that it's hickory dickory dock. Oh, no, what is not. it? I don't remember that. Is, this, is, it, is that the cow jumped, jumped over the moon? Yeah, cow jumped over the moon thing? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Spoon rhymes with moon. I apologize. I'm not going to my nursery. Well, Josh, no, no. I apologize. It was funny. <laughs> uh, Josh, this is... You know is, what? Um... He's right. This started with you just out of the clear blue sky. Well, and these koozies, no. I don't know. It to... might be the last time. I'm trying to push. You want me to go get the story? You want me to read it? I just found read it. it. You've got it in front read of you. Okay. Jesus. I just found it here. It's a nice picture of a big spoon. Man, it's a, the longest ball. week of my life. <laughs> it's a 15-foot... It's a 15-foot tall spoon. Huh. Okay. It's a, uh, That's it's a extra large version of the one that uh, the they give you in your blizzard. Yeah, we know. Yeah, that one. Chick, they thought the uh, fork was stolen too, but it turned out that was in the road. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Christy. Fork in the road, Tom. <laughs> nice. I'm wasn't, on fire. Was, wasn't the world's largest fork stolen in Canada last year? Uh, yeah. yeah. In any event, uh, surveillance, this is the funniest part. This is a 15-foot tall spoon. Surveillance cameras caught two people making off with the spoon on, quote, a small motorbike. Huh. That what? had to look pretty it funny. It had to have looked funny. Well, it must not be very heavy. Uh, a new spoon will cost them $7,000. So they want their spoon back if possible. Wow. Hmm. They must be really giving us bargains on those blizzards no and joke. those other spoons. I remember that stolen fork story. I read about it in the New York Times. <laughs> Times? Is that a tie? That's a Times joke. <laughs> See, those are the things. Jake is really enjoying that's it. That's a cr crossword you. puzzle people love that one. Jo uh, Josh's thrift. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the Times were a changing, but on in. apparently they're not. <laughs> Who do you think stole it, Christy? I mean, obviously, uh, obviously I'd say frat house. Yeah, well, I don't know about a frat house, but boys. Maybe a giant with a heroin problem. <laughs> oh, you call that freebasing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you freebasing. Uh, well. Maybe the Guinness World's largest Sunday needed a spoon. Yeah, um, it's it's a sweet it's a sweet story. I'll no, it's not. no, it isn't. It's fast. It's sweet. No, I mean, it's a sweet ice cream story. is sweet. It's ice cream is sweet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I would just like to see. 
I want to other things. I want to see two Muffins, people donuts. driving away on a on a motorcycle, a little tiny motorbike with a fifteen foot spoon. <laughs> well, that's a balance issue. <laughs> You got to get it in the right spot, I would think. Got to be hard to see, hard to turn. No, you're just holding it under your arm. No, the driver, the yeah. not carrying it, his pass, his passenger mm. <laughs> carrying the spoon. You right? know, the New York Times also did a story about this spoon. You've yeah. got to uh, show up. Quite, quite a scoop. <laughs> wow, he ended these, good. These are all very good. Mm-hmm. Enjoying this very much. Who are you? Uh, uh, I am. Yeah, yeah. All right. It wasn't the wasn't the giant fork in Canada? Am I correct? I have no idea. He's looking up the giant fork. <laughs> Story. <laughs> Am I Please right, Pat? Stand How did we go yeah, from the right, best yeah. show of the year to this? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, when were we ever on the best show of the year? Yesterday. <laughs> it was oh, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I was, carried you guys really. I think it was one of our. I think it was one of our <laughs> world records. Oh, it was. Yeah, I think it was the world's biggest fork. <laughs> but it was. It was also stolen. That was Shelly. I think so. Do you know? Mm. People turn us on to listen to what we're talking about. So the world's giant, the world's biggest fork was stolen. Now a giant spoon. Uh-oh. Uh, look out, owners of the world's biggest <laughs> plate. knife. Oh, plate. Sorry. <laughs> I, you know, knife. I think yeah. would have been better. Not to mention chopsticks. Don't sort yeah. of, you'll be fair here. Uh, those chopsticks. Those people like those food. Chopsticks. Very, very awkward. They've uh, seen the fork and they say, "No, nope, we're just sticking with chopsticks." <laughs> I am a huge chopsticks fan. Yes. Are you? I love them. I enjoy them too. Now, um, Josh, don't you have your own? I do. Yes, I was gifted them by a, a student in uh, Korea. Mine. Yep. Now, are they oh, like? Really? You have students in Korea? Korea? I did, yeah. I talked oh, over no there. No kidding. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Now, am I correct in saying that um, they, they screw together like pool cue? <laughs> like, <laughs> you walk into a restaurant. <laughs> yes, I've With got a tiny, tiny game. Game. <laughs> There he comes. <laughs> how, how would that be for a video? You come in, you do all that, you open the case. Uh, Yoshi, nice to see you. And the waiter's standing back. The waiter's in the kitchen. You can see the, the cook, and the waiter looks out and goes, Dude, I think this guy means business. <laughs> this is what we drank for, people. Let's go. <laughs> I can't find the giant fork. I'm okay, sorry. Okay, well, you look for that, Tell and us. I'll tell the good people about Orange Insult. Okay. Com. Why don't I do that? Do that, okay, And you need to shut up. Okay. <laughs> if you've got hip pain, back pain, huh? Yeah. Leg mm. pain? Mm. Well, you need orangeinsoles.com. Your body's not aligned. You're a, it's out of whack. You may experience more fatigue or injuries from your feet to your back. That's why you need orange insoles. They have a deep heel cup that reduces hip pain, foot pain, and lower back pain. It maintains proper weight distribution and body alignment. Most shoes don't come with a supportive insole. It's ridiculous. They're jokes, that thin layer of foam that's almost, almost a sock. Check out orangeinsoles.com, an easy-to-navigate website. You can find the right pair of orange insoles for whatever activity or shoe. Work boots, tennis shoes, cowboy cowboy boots, dress shoes. Plus, they have the 60-day we-want-you-happy guarantee. Head to orangeinsoles.com for free shipping. And right now, when you sign up for text messages from Orange Insoles, you'll also receive an additional savings code. Check out orangeinsoles.com today. Get proper support in your shoes and start feeling better. Orangeinsoles.com, proud supporters of the Bob and Tom Show. When we come back... I have the fork story. It was in Ontario. The Ontario fork. I'm so fork and happy. (laughs) And I've I've got a really cool chopsticks update and another... (laughs) And a really good good fork update. (laughs) My goodness. So they've got three. A, B, C. Fork and A coming up. (laughs) This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 20... If you work on your feet all day, maybe you're a teacher, a waiter, a doctor, a nurse. Oh my gosh, you're running back and forth all the time. Maybe you're Noah back here that's working this camera who's running around. You need orange insoles in your shoes. The running shoes, insoles, a little floppy. Look at that. Sturdy, hold you up, support your weight the proper way. Orangeinsoles.com, check them out. Plus, you can win this Yeti. Think of all the things you can do with this. First off, you're going on your wonderful hikes and you can't wait to get back to your campsite camping in the beautiful wilderness. And your river rat friends are not going to be able to steal this Yeti cooler because you'll be able to see it. Check them out today. Orangeinsoles.com. Feel better. Do more. You get free shipping in the U.S. Plus, they have bundle and save options, so save some money. And if you sign up for text messages, you're going to get 10% off your entire order. Why are we still here?
They're born with a password. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? You look yeah. at the ultrasound, you see the sex of the child who's internet provider is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you're, you're an email guy, then? Oh, no, no. Well, I check my email. I never get real emails. They're all junk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a junk box, and the junk box is like, look, we don't even have time to sort out this stuff. <laughs> and it's all that. Burn DVDs, lose weight, consolidate debt, and then be like, young teen sluts, whores, <laughs> <triplex."> <laughs> Thousands of it. And then I got a weird one in the middle that says, do you need a birdhouse? <laughs> <laughs> and I, was, I actually got that. I'm like, who's the birdhouse guy? And then every day I get this email, Jim, do you want to enlarge your penis? Yep. Like, and uh, well, how did I get on the small Willie email list? That is the real thing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. My boyfriend sometimes wants to have sex multiple times a day. The later times sometimes take forever, and I feel like a workhorse. What should I do? Just shut up and take it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I maybe tag team. I don't know. Yeah, tag like, tap tap, tap out. Uh, yeah. Is it all right if I call my sister? Yeah. 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 Bring, a, bring a friend. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom. If you irradiate poop, it will be sterile, but it's still poop. You can pick your morning radio show, but you can't wipe Bob and Tom on the couch. Al from the MBS News Center in New York. I'm Tom Bochow. In Bogota, Colombia, Brian Naranjo, age 18, says being small has its advantages, one being having a better view of girls in miniskirts, standing just 27.9 inches tall. Naranjo <laughs> <Wow. laughs> was named the smallest man in Latin America. By the Guinness Book of Records. Uh, 27 inches Besides tall. Besides holding the number one position, he fulfilled another dream by going to Disneyland where he called the It's a Small World exhibit disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> In Stockholm, Sweden, Leif Borg, warning he would blow the courtroom into the air just 10 minutes earlier at his divorce trial, pulled dynamite from his briefcase and set it off killing himself and seriously wounding his wife's lawyer, severing the lawyer's limbs. Wow. Witnesses said the explosion occurred during proceedings to determine how the couple's property would be split. For once, a lawyer got the charge that cost him an arm and a leg. Uh, yeah. uh, and not a high one, not a boy. Good move. <laughs> Call, yeah. Throw away the script and get out. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Don't, 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 don't. Essential morning radio. Don't. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. 24-7. Now, uh, Andy Hendrickson is the other voice you're hearing in the studio. Andy is a stand-up comedian. You're a young guy. Yeah. He's a handsome guy. You, are you married? No, I'm single. Girlfriend or anything? No, none of that. It's, you know, well, it's you tough comedians on the really know how to get, <laughs> the, old, get the action. Like troubadours, right? Tom. They move from yeah. town to town. New woman in every port. Yeah, all Having my friends kids. are married. I I got more weddings on the docket this year. I got really? a wedding on uh, Memorial Day, mm -hmm. another one on Labor Day. Mm -hmm. You guys have the friends like that. You're like, oh, great. Your love's so special. You get to wreck my three-day weekend. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Maybe I'll have yeah. my funeral on the Super Bowl. How about that? How about that? <laughs> I'll show you. Bring a snack. Uh, hey, this is Frank Caliendo, and you're listening. Uh, Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. At the news desk, it's Christy Lee. Hello, Chick. Hello, there's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. Hey, man. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee. And here's Tom. Chris, well, thank you very much. With our fork update, go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I've well, been waiting six minutes. Well, e we had the big story out of Arizona where Christie's going next week. I want you to be on the lookout for a giant spoon, a 15-foot spoon. Yeah, outside of a Phoenix, Arizona Dairy Queen. Stolen. stolen. Yeah, stolen. The, apparently the spoon valued at $7,000. Um, okay, now, uh, let's see. I, so I did a little research, found a couple interesting things. <laughs> Uh, I th Brooks vaguely remember this one. Um, a town in Ontario, Canada, lost its giant fork. According to CTV News, the 10-foot-tall stainless steel fork stood where Kitley Road and Leacock Road split in Frankville, Ontario. 
Mm. Lee cock means the cock. Mm. It does. Mm. Oh. French. Uh, Which also means the. They are mm. searching for the Wiener. missing fork. So, what was it? Was it Yogi Berra that famously said, if there's a fork in the road, take it? <laughs> Wasn't that one of the classics from Yogi Bear? Um, in any event, they're trying to. Uh, they're trying to find that. Um, now, I also found this story, Christy. Yeah. Doctors removed a chopstick from a man's male member. Ugh. Oh, yeah, he was sounding. The 42-year-old yeah. patient is referred to in the uh, medical journal as Mr. NVD. But that's unfortunate. Um, he sought treatment at a hospital and told doctors he and his friends were, quote, blind drunk when his friend allegedly inserted the chopstick into his right. male member, quote, for fun. Ugh. Um, <laughs> yikes. Yeah. You know, I've had fun in my day. Yeah, man. Yeah. I can make you cringe. Every guy out there is going to cringe. The chopstick was in so far. <sighs> the tip was 1.18 inches from the opening. So it was, in other words, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it was way in there. There was still like an inch of the chopstick sticking out of no, the No, it was way. the opposite. Was other way. way. Oh, that's why he couldn't get it back out? Yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, my God. Could have been worse. Yeah. How? This was this was overseas in an Asian country. It could have been in America it would have been a fork. <laughs> <laughs> Do you suppose his buddy put it in there to uh get it uh, to uh, stay uh in the upright position? That'd be my guess. Oh, to go, "Hey, this will keep you." Yeah. I mean, you know, they're both drunk and wow. Well, let's not speculate. Okay. Do you know the good thing about chopsticks, Christy? What about them? Etiquette. You never place them on the table. I know that. If you're at a big event, mm -hmm. you can't take the wrong chopsticks, right? What? Well, you know, you like got, there's no solid chopsticks. Yeah, there's no, yeah. You got just got the one set, right? Oh. What did you say? Solid. Salad. Said, salad. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, salad. Do I say salad weird? No, you just said solid. <laughs> no, you didn't. He wasn't listening. The point. I, you're missing my larger point here. Uh, that if you're at some fancy dinner chick. Which fork do you use when the food comes? And there's like three forks. Well, because it, you start from the outside and you work your way in. That's, well, that's what you may do. I, yeah, Josh, well, what's, what's your philosophy on this? You just take the biggest fork and go for it. I, no. I, you know, I honestly don't know the etiquette. I don't know what fork you're supposed to use. You start from the outside. It doesn't matter. I, I could care. If somebody were, oh, you know, you're using the wrong fork. Yeah. Oh, not to stab you in the forehead with. <laughs> I don't care. Who cares? Is that right? <laughs> well, aren't you a polite dinner <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm rarely invited to dinner parties. <laughs> yeah, but you see, my point is the, 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 the shrimp cocktail. Uh, Those or, tiny forks? Yeah, they're tiny. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that little teensy one. Yeah. yeah. But with chopsticks... Hey, you pick up the shrimp with the chopsticks, pick up your salad with the chopsticks. Everything's cool, right? There's no decision to be made here. You can't embarrass yourself. The Except, ones like Josh has that are the nice ones because mm -hmm. I was gifted a pair as well, they're a lot slipperier than the Yeah. I don't, yep. I don't care for them. Like the, the grip of the wood. Yeah. I feel the same way about coffee stirrers. <laughs> I like the wooden coffee stirrers. Yeah, we know. Yeah. As opposed to As plastic. opposed to plastic? Yeah. Well, I, have, I have literally 500 of these below my desk here. Oh, we, we're aware. Whatever yeah. you say, psycho. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> By the way, the guy that, the, I'm still reading this article, this guy that put this toothpick okay. in his schlong. It was a chopstick. chopstick. Yeah. What did I say? <laughs> toothpick. Oh, oh, that Toothpick's no big deal. <laughs> By the way, uh, yeah, Tom. Yeah, toothpick's nothing. You can just pee that out. Yeah. We've yeah. got a uh, listener email that says Pratt & Lambert was bought out by Sherwin-Williams in 1994. <laughs> <laughs> ah, excellent paint. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pratt this and Lambert. This is from Joshua concerning Tom's memory. <laughs> With Tom forgetting everything, most recently a light cap that was given to him. Can you imagine how delicious it's going to be when Tom finally forgets which station he works for and goes to the wrong station? I don't understand. That's perfectly possible. <laughs> no, Ace gave me a clip-on cap, uh, a clip-on light for a baseball cap. It's actually not a clip. No, yeah, that's no. that's how forgetful you're being yeah, here. Yeah, it was a beanie it's, that had it already had, in Okay, the sorry. Hat. Whatever it was, it, I can't find it right now. And I'm where I'm living, there's no light, and I'm trying to walk the dogs, and they're pooping, and I'm trying to pick it up at night. I'm afraid I'm going to drop my iPhone into a turd fest. So I, I bought a clip-on when it should be available today. I bet it's in your office. I, yeah, I bet Christy, it's under his desk. Yeah, it's, it could I be right under I head. bet it's on his head under that <laughs> <laughs> Okay. A Michigan woman gave Wait birth. Wait a minute. I just oh. wanted, I never finished telling you, this guy that had the we chopstick yeah, what up, about his, the Michigan? Up, his, up his schlong. <laughs> <laughs> after, after the doctors got it out, he put it back in 30 minutes later. You know what they say about Chinese food. <laughs> Wasn't this in uh, Japan? Uh, you, want, I mean, you want more of a 30 minutes later. Uh, <laughs> 
confused. A Michigan oh. woman gave birth in the parking lot of a Costco store. Oh. M Live reports the woman and her husband were on their way to the hospital but pulled over because delivery was imminent. Green Oak Township firefighters and Livingston County EMS responded to the store's parking lot and assisted with the delivery. Livingston County, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> there were no complications. Woo! Mom and babe were transported in an ambulance to a nearby hospital shortly after. Well, this is this is in the Costco parking lot. Yes. Please tell me they named the kid Kirkland. Oh, oh. not bad. That's their oh. brand, baby. That That'd is their brand. Them. Sure, what do you think? Of course, they... I mean, what? convenient... If they're if they're a member, they could go in and buy a, a boatload of diapers while they're there. <laughs> yeah, that's so sweet. Glad everybody's good. Oh, I heard that they'd only stop there because the husband wanted one of those dollar fifty hot dogs. Hey, <laughs> hang on a second, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get you there. We'll get you there. Okay. Sports extra. Sports extra. I didn't. Former Olympic runner Oscar Pistorius. You remember Oscar oh, Pistorius. Oh, they did not let him out Misunderstood. Uh, He's the murderer. Man. He didn't even kill his girlfriend. Yeah. Well, we don't know what she said. Now we oh. don't know about. <laughs> uh, He's found guilty. Think, didn't he shoot her through the bathroom door? Yes. Yeah, I thought, he was, I thought she was On Valentine's Day, wasn't it? Well, here's something you like. Anyway, uh, denied, yeah, song for <laughs> denied parole, Christy. Oh, thank goodness. Am I correct in saying more than ten years? This is the guy that killing. doesn't have legs. He's a Blade yeah, Runner, right? right? Mm -hmm. blade. But he's got the he's got he has uh, blades for different activities, like a Swiss Army knife. He's got walking blades. He's got sprinting blades. Legs. He's got uh, shooting long your distance, girlfriend blades. Shooting your girlfriend <laughs> blades. As soon as I get these on, I'm. Oh my gosh. Said, Don't go anywhere, baby. So I'm sorry. So is he? He's not getting out. No. No. Denied one, parole. So Why? He's, he's not going to walk. <laughs> no, without the, without the use. Do they allow him to have his legs in prison? I would imagine. If you try to talk to me oh. over the weekend, I swear to God, I'm going to cuss you out. <laughs> <laughs> do you think his cellmate tries to do him in the shin holes? <laughs> <laughs> They've forgotten everything I've said today. Even my Sam and Nigiri joke, which I thought was excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what territory you no one will invade That's but me. That's what you thought. Is that what oh, you thought? That was your takeaway from that. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, that. huh? You're welcome, Pat. Oh, Thank you gosh. for appreciating it. No, no he uh, didn't. <laughs> Thank you for appreciating <laughs> Well, I did <laughs> not. <laughs> taking you down with him. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just thank you for secretly texting me how much uh, you loved it. Yeah. <laughs> Respected me for saying nope. it. <laughs> Back on the ship. <laughs> What do you got over there, Tom? You reading something? I am. Yeah, what do you got, Tom? Uh, it's a, <laughs> a long-time listener. Happy 53rd birthday, Craig, in East Hampton, All right, we can't be doing this. All right, knock that off. I'm not going <laughs> to. He, he wants to hear one of Josh Arnold's songs. Oh, oh yeah. never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Let's do an acapella. It's, the, it's, it's called Too Full. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, eating on... I, I forget the lyrics, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Craig. Thank you very much. So I'm sorry. So is this guy getting out? I missed it. The story. What is his name? Yes, he was denied. This parole. is Jocko Pistorius, the famous bass player. Jocko. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oscar. Oscar. Oscar Pistorius. Who was Jocko Pistorius? The greatest oh. bass player Weather in Report, history. Yeah. For uh, Bob Johnny uh, Mitchell. Weather Report. Well, right? yeah. Weather he was Report. a jazz. Yeah. Oh, okay. One of those. Gen yeah. Genius. Sadly, yeah. Yeah. mental health issues. Genius. Uh -oh. Denied parole for the third time. Oh, so he's not going to walk out. That I right. told you. No, yeah, no, he's not. You've okay. done this, Joe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just thought of it. I mean, I didn't know about this story. Well, you, you've said it twice now. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, it's obvious he murdered his girlfriend. Yeah, the guy's a murderer, yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's guilty. Oh, he's I don't prison. know what happened. All I know, he's in jail. But he keeps asking for parole. Was that in England? After uh, South Africa. Was South it? Africa, okay. But, I mean, it, so he England only got don't... 10 years? <laughs> Seems kind of light to me. What do you mean? Pro eligible for pro yeah. after 10? You cold-blooded murder somebody? That's probably standard. And they knew they were going to say, no, you're not getting out of 10. Okay. All yeah. Right. See, over there, they actually put their murderous athletes in jail. Something we haven't quite got. Oh, the... okay. Good point. <laughs> well, some of them. Yes, yeah, not, not all. Yeah, yeah. Not all. So he's not getting out. Okay. So he's not going to... What? Walk. <laughs> I just figured, hey, why not three? Why not? <laughs> Christy, talk to us, baby. <laughs>
<laughs> a cow was rescued after it had become trapped on a tennis court for over 10 hours. Did you see this? Oh, over so. 10 hours? The BBC reports the bovine was spotted at Market Harbor Lawn. <laughs> what? Harbor Lawn. You're not going to get away with that. What's it? <laughs> Market Harbor Lawn, Harbor Lawn Tennis Club after it escaped from a field on the outskirts of Great Bowden. Well, if it was on the tennis courts for that many hours, I'll tell you what, that, that kind of deuce. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer Vicky Rather Gillespie. unusual on a tennis court. <laughs> what about farmer Vicky Gillespie? He said it was a mystery how the 10 month old. Puffy cheeks. A dizzy Gillespie? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's a mystery how the 10 month old heifer ended up on the tennis court a mile away from the farm, but said the animal was not harmed during her brief escape. Oh, good. The club's head coach, Phil Harris, noted, quote, Obviously, oh, there was man, a... necessity. necessity. <laughs> oh, that Phil Harris? <laughs> he did Baloo, the voice of Baloo. Oh, that's great. Obviously, there was a mess, so that required our hardworking and dedicated maintenance man Constantly. to remove that. Constantly loaded. We're just glad there's a happy conclusion and everyone is okay. So this cow did deuce all over the tennis court. <sighs> Must have, for t in 10 hours. Yeah. Cows yeah. poop. That's what they do. Did yeah. they give the cow's name? No. How about Fault. Mm. I was thinking Steffi Calf. <laughs> okay, let's do this. No. Yeah. No. So you think Phil Harris was obscure. No. You don't get a lot no. of Steffi Graf jokes on this Grass show. Andre Grassesy. There we go. <laughs> yeah. That's very good. Pat, thank you very much. I can't help. Uh, mm, well, well. <laughs> I got a... I got a do you remember this one, the aroma fork? <laughs> yes. This thing claimed that, like, it would, it would, uh, when you, you know, used you're it, reading aloud, right? Sorry. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. It I would just, help. With I was your... trying to find the world's biggest fork. We already found it. I know, but I was, I, this also popped up. All the, right. Well, uh, just stop looking. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. Please be in the now with us. <laughs> oh, no. Never, 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 never. This is a fork that will make, you can make things taste oh. differently, Christy. Yeah. You could take a big dollop of roast beef and make it taste like chocolate. Why would I want to do that? Well, it doesn't have to be roast beef. Oh. No, no, Tom, I swear, this is chocolate. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best chocolate I've well, ever looks had. Like, looks like yeah, chocolate. Yeah, you like that, do you? I like uh, that. Sure. Here, I thought it was <laughs> Steffi Calf. <laughs> <laughs> Steffi Calf. Tell me damn. Now, Pat, I saw you uh, practicing in there. Oh, boy. Did you have a song you wanted to play for us? Well, I could do Costco, man. If you'd like, we were talking about Costco. Oh, sure. Good. Let's talk yeah, about the like little, little baby man. born on the He's parking lot Costco of a Costco. Man. Yeah, little Kirkland. <laughs> Just calm down. You could sing too full if you'd like. <laughs> He's a real Costco man sitting in his minivan making all his shopping plans for Saturday. Doesn't have a single clue Who needs this much super glue <laughs> Buying in bulk for his family <laughs> Costco man uh, buys pliers Bacon, milk, uh, and tires uh, Costco man It's time to renew your membership plan He's as cheap as he can be. Samples meant his lunch was free. Costco man ate free sausage and cheese balls. <laughs> Who needs this many oversized cans? Nobody. So involved, yeah. Who needs this much peanut butter? Nobody. Yes. Often in big oh. containers. Oh. Items. Everything. Wide variety. Mm -hmm. it's, like it's a sweet story. A little baby born at the born at the Costco. Sure. Kind of a biblical feel. Oh yeah, how so? Well, that evening <laughs> there was no room at the Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> a little baby. Kirkland. <laughs> well, you tell Kelly she's not allowed to go on any more trips. <laughs> yeah, she's got to stay home. Right <laughs> she has to stay home. <laughs> when Tom is left to oh, his own devices, devices. things oh. go to hell. Things go <laughs> to hell. The daddy, the daddy handed all of the male, the male men around him uh, cases of a thousand cigars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, they, see they, it's bulk, you see, Christy. Animal rescuers in Ohio are saying a reported carbon monoxide alarm at a home was caused by an owl stuck in the chimney. 
Oh. Cincinnati Animal Care said a family evacuated when high levels of carbon monoxide were detected in the residence. Yikes. While searching for a cause for the leak, officials discovered the home's chimney was blocked by an owl that had become stuck. And somewhere there was a child not getting their invite to Hogwarts. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Isn't that sad? <laughs> they were able to remove the bird and release it back into the wild. Aww. Way to go, Hamilton County you know, Dog Wardens. You know, owls... Um, all, all, most of the time are are standing, if you will, like a catcher at a baseball game. They have very long legs. They choose not to they stand up. They just choose not to stand up. Hmm. Wow. I know they're super scary. I've got one. Why do you see them with their legs, their long legs? They're, they're weird when they're, they show them like lying down. Yeah. yeah. There's a great video of an owl attacking a camera, slow motion coming in. With his big talons? Yeah, big talons. Pretty terrible. Take the top of your head right off. And that whole weird thing with their head turns around, that's real. <laughs> that's real! <laughs> you, you, you all thought it was fake. It's, like a, it's, it's like a ventriloquist I'm here to dummy. tell you people, that is real. <laughs> they, do like a, they do like a three, real. 359 yep. and then Doubt come back. Doubt me at your own peril. <laughs> yeah, that's real. <laughs> Giraffe next. Long. Doubt that's me at your own Yeah, you ever talk to Santa Claus? His worst nightmare. Owl yeah. in the chimney. Oh, my gosh. Elephants, you know what? Big. Uh, yeah. They're really big. That's real. They are. That's real. Yeah. Elephants are real, my friend. Chim, chimney, chim, chimney, chim, chim, chahoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How this are is, you? Look, someone get Kelly on the This is either the best Tom has ever been or the worst. I can't decide. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's real, baby. Okay, it's real. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> Do you know that... Uh, <clears throat> Oh, he's, if, he's you still, a, he's still if, if you had if you had a carbon monoxide leak, you'd, you'd find out about it because you had the proper alarm system. That's right. With simply say, safe. simply safe has carbon monoxide detectors. You dog on, are you dog on right? There are many reasons why simply safe is trusted by experts and the Bob and Tom Show and customers alike. We're not the only ones. U.S. News recently named Sim Simply Safe the best home security system of 2023, and CNET called Simply Safe editor's choice. Simply Safe is designed with cutting edge security technology and powered by 24 7 professional monitoring. Simply Safe's professional monitoring agents use Fast Protect technology to capture critical evidence and verify the threat is real so you get priority police dispatch. 24 7 professional monitoring service costs under a dollar a day, less than half the price of traditional home security systems. You can lock and unlock your doors, access your cameras, arm and disarm your system right there from your smartphone. Customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes at simplysafetom.com. Go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off your order with interactive monitoring. That's simplysafetom.com. Remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Coming up, a special audio supplement to Today in History. I'm very excited about when we return. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. Baby, 
It's time for grooving slow. It's time for dancing, baby. And poking around your road. So what you say? We're gonna come and play. So what you say? Come on, let's get busy. Gonna get some booty. Gonna have some sweetness. Can I see your beauty? Can we get down on the road? Gonna get some booty. Gonna have some sweetness. Can I see your beauty? Can I have some, have some more? Some booty, can I have some sweetness? Can I see your beauty? Can we get down on the road? Can I get some booty? Can I have some sweetness? Can I see your beauty? Can I have some, have some more? Can I get some booty? Can I have some sweetness? Can I see your beauty? That horn section moves. Here come the mummies. Yeah. Man, Man are they great. Oh, what fun. Thank well, if you. you didn't get a ticket tonight, you lose. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dear Bob and Tom. Yes. The Mummies are my new favorite band. Uh-huh. It was formerly the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. That was a nice right. letter. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Here come the Mummies. Uh, thank you for listening. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Randy Gandhi. Randy Gandhi. Randy Gandhi. The answer is. The answer is sputum samples. <laughs> sputum <laughs> samples. Exactly. Mm. The question. What do you call someone who's a spitting image of junior samples? <laughs> <laughs> The answer is yes. Kenmore Weedwhacker. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Kenmore Ken Weed Whacker. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> what did Barbie yell as she made love with Ken in the tool shed? <laughs> 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 the answer is I, sir. I, sir. I, sir. He, I, he, sir. He's... The question. <sighs> Tough. That's a special benefit with Mr. Fox. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy, Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. I, I, I skipped. I, There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Willie Griswold on assignment. I'm, uh... Chick McGee, and it has been a week. Here is... You're almost there, buddy. Tom Griswold. It's a great week. Thanks for being Almost there. Thanks again, everybody. Cincinnati, Hard Rock Casino, the Fox. We had a great time. Great people and a great crowd. Um, and um, just, just so many great moments. Um, I'm sure a lot of that is available to listen to on, on social media. Highly recommend it. A couple quick things uh, coming up. I'll remind everybody tonight, Saginaw, Michigan, Josh Kostaki, Mr. Godwin, an on-stage Dow Event Center. Huge show. A lot of fun. Are you and Godwin driving together? We no, have, because we have different, different places. places tomorrow. We're going oh, to okay. Josh That's will be going to Dubuque Saturday at the Diamond Joe Casino. And then Pat is at the um, uh, Mason City Limits celebrating their 15th anniversary on Saturday night in Illinois. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mason City, yeah. Illinois for that. Yeah. Okay, very, very good. Uh, now, uh, while I'm at it, um, if I'm not mistaken, Donnie Baker is in Ashtabula, Ohio tonight. And then tomorrow in Erie, PA. All the details are on Donnie's website. You can check that out, of course. Right now, it's uh, time to review. Our Today history. in history, March 31. No more marches in 2023. Man. The end of the pizza siege. Yes. Here's Tom. Um, this one I'm really excited about. And don't you have a, a special presentation during the... We want to start with that? Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is... Um, the birthday of Johann Sebastian Bach. Did you know that? 1685. Ah, uh, Bach. I didn't know. That's why yeah. you're here to inform Famous me. for uh, writing the theme, uh, John Sebastian Bach, to... Uh, well, here, here it is. I got it for you. Welcome back. <laughs> So not the last name at all, just the fact that uh, Sebastian's in there. Oh, well, John Sebastian Bach, hung your, called him. Hung your head on. With the John Sebastian. <laughs> not Johan, which is John, are two different names. Arnold Schwarzenegger went to a party, uh, a costume party, is him. Yeah. Is it, oh, yeah. Oh, it'd be Bach. <laughs> <laughs> Dressed up as Johan Sebastian. Come on, who thinks that's funny? <laughs> not, not, the guy from, not the guy no, from Skid Row, by the way. That's so silly. Right, that's Sebastian. Yeah. Oh. So that's, the, that's just Sebastian. What else? Right happening. <laughs> History. Josh, so close, Josh. Don't lose it now. In 1889, a place you have been, the Eiffel Tower opened in no, Paris. I've, I've never been there. I have. You've never been to the Eiffel Tower? No, I've never been to France. Mm -mm. Oh, I thought you'd been there. Uh, oh, you'll I've been to France. the uh, King's Island Eiffel Tower. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, a nice that's one. That's pretty sure. damn special, yeah. I tell you. I've been to Paris and Vegas. Yeah, there's that, that Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I've never been, been to Spain. I no, I haven't. I've been to... Uh, kind of like Oh, I have been to Spain. What am I talking about? Let's see now. Um... Jimi Hendrix lights his guitar on fire for the first time, 1967. Yeah. Tomorrow, How would that tomorrow be, he bought a new one. How would that be <laughs> received? You know, looking back, it seemed kind of, I don't know. Yeah. Okey? I never, I never cared for so it. So that in the Monterey. Yeah. Movie, yeah. Oh, that whole thing. And, I, and he had to use a lighter fluid, which I thought was cheap. It would have been... If the friction of his playing had set the guitar on fire, that would have been cool. You ever seen Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day play while doing um, Good Riddance? And it's on fire, and he's still playing it. That's wow. He he uh, yeah he ran because huh. Hendrix walked. Wow, amazing! Uh, uh, the first WrestleMania, 1985, Madison Square Garden. Hulk Hogan, Mr. T, and the Giant was the Giant on that. Uh, I think the that big match was part two. I think. Okay, wasn't Liberace the Timekeeper? Wasn't that part of the the joke? I mean, they always had some kind of guests. <laughs> Did they really? Uh, yeah, WrestleMania is this weekend. That's oh. right. Very good. Uh, here we go. A birthday. <laughs> uh, 1596, Rene Descartes. Do you know what Descartes famous for saying, Christy? You'll, you know this one. I, I know. Can I tell you? Go, go ahead. ahead. Do not ever put the horse <laughs> before Descartes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, I thought he was a map guy. Cartographer. Uh, <laughs> Decartographer? <laughs> no. 
I, it, hey, my the, brain's starting to work. Can we start yeah. the show again? <laughs> I think, therefore, I am. Yes. That famous, uh, famous quote. Uh, Jack Johnson, born 1878. By the way, not oh. the not the guy that sings on stage with the no banana shoes. pancakes guy. No, uh, no, uh, the, the great. You don't like the boxer. banana pancakes. Uh, okay. uh, Gordy Howe. Who's, Who's Jack Johnson? Uh, uh, the boxer. Um, boxer. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Not not the singer. Okay, right. got it. Because the singer was. Born after 1878. Yes, he was. <laughs> Just to check on that. Uh, Gordy Howe, born on this date in 1928. Josh, one of your favorites? Sure, sure. One of every, any hockey fan's favorite. And um, a guy that has become kind of a stock impression, Christopher Walken, born on this date in 1943. Okay, is it just me? And I know I've misheard some things today, but why does he say Christopher Walken? I don't know. He it's always Christopher does. Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. It's Walken. Like said. No, you didn't. You're saying Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken? Okay. That um, was right. Uh, currently an impression of Christopher Walken seen at every... <laughs> every <laughs> Open mic you've ever been open to? Open mic, yes. Uh, a real Perlman born on this date in 1948. My good friend Grant is born on this date. He'll be 26 well, today. Uh, okay. Uh, Happy how about birthday, this one? Grant. 1955, the great <laughs> Angus Young. Yeah. The uh, most famous... ACDC guy? Uh, School lab? Uh, uh, beef dish. <laughs> oh, yeah, nothing uh, like a good Angus Young. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the veal of yes. Angus. The, 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 the right. veal We're of beef. Obviously beefs. at the bottom of the show. Uh, okay. St. Louis Cardinals pitcher Adam Wainwright sang the national anthem yesterday for uh, Thursday Cardinals home opener. Oh, say can you see. Why do they call him Wayno? Do you know that one? The dawn. Short for Wainwright. Wayne, oh, okay. Wayne. Did a good job. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. <laughs> no, not every. There's the one guy. Not every Cardinals uh, fan is a, a class actor. And uh, that's today, the, that's the same guy that shouted out, "Whip and post." <laughs> At the, at the Allman Brothers at the Fillmore. And yesterday's Guys show was so massive, we had to do the things we learned yesterday, this morning. Oh, of course, Red's opening day, and Tom was scared by his Alexa. <laughs> Today was the last pizza song from Pat, and the last day for pizza with... Congratulations, with Ace. Ace. Well done, Ace. Yeah. Well done, Ace. Yeah. Good job, uh, Ace. And well done, Pat. My well, gosh. Thank you. Yeah. You did all the work, really. Ace got to enjoy it. <laughs> True. Pat Godwin sang the national anthem at one time for the Phillies. Is that Yeah, Phillies Cup. Oh, I watched that video. You're a handsome fella. Oh, thank you. You're going way yeah, back there, man. That was you're yeah. a good-looking guy. Yeah. Not that you're not good-looking. Yeah. 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 Things Christy. change. Things Jeez. change. We grow and we get ugly. Thank no, you. you're not. No. It's just a different look. That was back closer older. when... Remember, you made out with him. I did not. I didn't uh, know yeah, him yeah, in 90s. So. Yeah, you did. Yeah. No reason to doubt Pat. Gosh, Tom's a hockey. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll give you a lot of reasons to doubt Pat. Okay, trust me. Ben, a listener named Ben from Kalamazoo, where Josh has a gal, actually enjoys the Ace Cosby joke of the day and can't wait to retell them yes. to his co-workers. Boy, oh, boy. Mm -hmm. well, this is a really good one, Mindy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. And Monday, we're going to have uh, Greg Warren and no uh, Christy. No. Put me at the news desk. There you go. Okay, we can do that. Uh, the Howell okay. Opera House, Haywood Banks, tomorrow evening. Once again, huge night in Saginaw, Michigan. Josh Kostaki. Patty G, check it out. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel.